one. I start with and we're live, Daniel. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, how's your day going? It's going well. It's going well. How's yours? It's good. It's Friday. I've been looking good forward to you. this day. I feel like this week has drug, like, dragged on forever. So I am so happy it's finally Friday. And then I get to, like, talk to you and get to know you. I always see you in everybody's chats um, on all the YouTubers, um, influencers, like, and even on Twitter, too. Like, you're always supporting, like, all the community. And I love that energy that you bring. So... It's an honor to have you on here. I'm so happy. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me. And I mean, it's 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 what I like to do. You know, you, you know <laughs> I like to feel that we all have our bad days. So if you're not going to say something nice, then don't say nothing at all. And, and a lot of these content creators go out of their way uh, to put out information and content for us. So the least I could do is say something nice, say, say thank you, you know, acknowledge that they went out of their time to do something for us, for the community. So. For sure. You know, I like to acknowledge and say, hey, thank you. At least hit the like button, you know, comment. You know, there, are, you know, I have my days. We're all human. You know, I take my little bit of breaks so or I slow down. I cut back. But for <laughs> the most part, I at least go on their video and I hit the like, even if I don't uh, hit like put my like my <laughs> my Your comments. Comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so, <laughs> so if I don't do my signature, then, then I, at the very least, I hit the like button and, and then, you know, just just try to watch it later if I if I can, because there are, there are times where I can't. I'm not going to lie, but 99.99% of the time I do my, my best to watch everyone's videos or as much as possible before I fall asleep or whatever. But yeah, yeah. for everybody, I really do. Uh, there's a lot of OGs, like a lot of OGs that are no longer here with us. But uh, I used to, you know, you know, and, and at the same time, believe it or not, I would actually, because I have multiple devices, you know, who doesn't? So I would actually have my my tablet, my my phone, my wife's tablet, you know, my other phone, et cetera, et cetera. And I would be like in a bunch of channels, especially when when the, the high was high, like when we were at the all time high, there was like a lot of creators and there was like a lot of content being put out. So, you know, so I, I would try to, you know, to try to hop on, on every stream, you know, especially if they were live. And then I, I believe it or not, you know, back then, you know, my, my daughter was still, you know, young. And then actually my daughter wasn't even born. So I actually had more time and I had, you know, I was a little bit more flexible. You know, I, I was able to, to you know, to, to manage everything a little bit easier, better. And, yeah. You know, but I was actually mostly on Twitter. I'm sorry, on, on YouTube. I wasn't on Twitter. I wasn't on any other platform. I've actually been underground for a really long time. I, I haven't had any uh, social media platforms, and, and this uh, Twitter one is actually my very first one that I that I got, and it's because of Evie. They did that big old giveaway, which I kind of <laughs> think, you know, I, I'm sure it's not, but I, we 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 play around a lot in the VV, you know, channel in the VV Vault the channel. Shout out, yeah. Uh, that they stole it a little bit from him because he used to do these giveaways called big old giveaways. And, you know, he, he joked around a little bit saying, Hey, well, they, 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 they copied me. They, they tried to copy my swagger, <laughs> blah, 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 you know, that type of thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and I also joke around with them because, you know, there's a little bit, I like to say, right. It's not rivalry, but for some reason, you know, I, 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 I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I haven't dug and, and found out exactly for sure why they, they blocked the OG, but, but Vivi Vault is blocked from, from uh, the, the OGs, OGs, uh, you know, um, Vivi. Yeah. So, so uh, I, I like to, to play around and say that they have a little bit of a snow piercing the movie. Have you ever watched this, the movie, the snow piercing? I don't, no. I don't think that's, no. It, no, well, it turned out at the end that in the movie, not, not the show, but the movie, that the, the, the back of the train was working with the front of the train all along, you know? Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, so so I, I joke around, you know, low key, but it's you know just messing around, just messing around. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, that's funny. Because he, he has he has these streams called conspiracy. Well, I, he he hasn't had ones recently, but he would have these streams for conspiracy theories, and he would go on there and just make up a conspiracy or bring up a conspiracy, and he would you know bring it up and kind of debate it. So that's why I would joke up, you know, joke about it too. But but uh, but but yeah, you know, uh, uh, I'm just all over the place, you know, just trying to support everyone when I can, you know as much as I can, yeah. you know, with what, what I can, because, you know, I'm just a normal person, you know. Right. I, I started with very, very little on, on B, and then that's how my journey started with NFTs, you know, because I had a small, 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 you know, um, prior with uh, stocks and crypto, but very sm small, and then yeah. I went over and I concentrated 100% on BB, and then that's what, like, got me into NFTs, literally. Like, yeah. If it wasn't Same for here. It wasn't for VB, I wouldn't have turned to like all, all the other platforms, you know, then I, it, it came with HRO, blah, blah, yeah. blah, you know, market. So you're in here too? 
be. Yeah, I'm in Hero too. Nice. Uh, I, I have I actually, I still have a, a couple of the Mega Packs uh, sealed. My wife and I. So we have we still have a couple of Mega Packs sealed. Don't open it. Don't open it. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have a couple of the, the like the boosters. Uh, still yeah. Open. Yeah. And then Dang. I, I have like my binder of cards. You know. You know. With, That's awesome. Uh, the cards in there. But, yeah, yeah, I'm really wishing I could go back and not open my. I had a big box like that too, and I actually sold the big box to Kobe, but we had some little packs too. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't. I like. I don't know. I was just in my head, you know. I was like, I don't really care about this project. I'm like all in VV, so I'll just like scan these and invest everything I make here into VV. So that's what I did. But I wish that I like would have just you know save them because i don't know i believe that in the future a closed pack like that will go for a lot a lot of money so same. I, that's I awesome know. that you have it <laughs> yeah but same i i, I know it's going to be a lot more than what we we got it for that's what i know for I, sure I, so i figure it's it's not a bad idea to hold on to it for for a little bit longer you know yeah so what happens but uh, venturing out of VV, you know, for a little bit, especially be, with sentiment, you know, I'm not going to lie, uh, you know, I ended up, you know, venturing out, but uh, I'm actually happy that this happened because it brought my love even more back to VV. If, uh, I guess I don't know how to word it. Uh, I got yeah. hacked not too long ago uh, on, on my mask wallet, so they stole all my OMI and they stole uh, like five of my favorite NFTs on OpenSea. No! Yeah. I actually have. This is why I'm afraid of Open Sea. Everybody always tells me these stories, and I'm like, I don't want to have an Open Sea. I do yeah. because I have this NFT now, but it scares me. Don't steal my NFTs. <laughs> yeah, now I'm even more scared to use Open Sea than ever. So, so it's a little scary. I had a lot of people, you know, reach out. Shout out to all of them for real. I had a lot of creators actually and, and artists reach out and offer me their NFTs, like like actual like artists like Sabbath, oh, and, nice. yeah, yeah, and, and, and Chan Lee and a bunch of other ones that I don't want to butcher their names and they're really awesome artists. They offer and, and I actually turned them down. I said no. I was so embarrassed and I was like no, no, thank Aww. you. I really wanted to because at that point, if I were to accept, I only accepted one NFT and that was from Jake. He's from Twitter, but he's also in the VB community and he he does those, the red O's, which is why my, my Twitter uh, profile now has that, that red oh. circle, the, the red monster. That's yeah. the only thing that, that I accepted, the only one. But I had so many people reach out and offer me their NFTs. And the way I saw it is if I were to accept it as generous as they are, at that point, we both lose. The, the artists, the awesome artists that are offering me the art, and, and me once again, and, and the only one that wins is the hacker because they're the ones that you know swap, swoop my art, and now I have somebody else giving me something that they could have sold or, or whatever. And, and, and you know, and so so I see it as a loose loose. And uh, so so like, yeah. did you send your did you send like your wallet to the wrong person or like how do how do they get into your yeah you know. Uh, it was actually a, a follower of mine that I was following, or, or someone that, that on Twitter. They they posted a malicious link. Uh, supposedly, it was one of those fake. Um, what was it? Recur uh, it, <laughs> drops, <laughs> right uh. after right after the, their last drop. So they they knew how to do it. And then I, I was in the zone that day. I had just completed a hundred NFTs on that account uh, for the first time on OpenSea. So I just completed a hundred NFTs. I was super proud. And then and then here comes this 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 link it popped up i'm like oh cool like it's somebody i know like or, or somebody that i follow thinking you know me thinking so i, I didn't even like do my thing about it yeah i didn't no. I, I go go click in it i didn't click on who it was even though i was following him to see what type of credibility he had how many followers he has you know yeah. what posed i was just like in the zone and i was clicking and clicking and then all of a sudden i'm like well my money is going away my ethereum is going down but it's not showing the last completion, like the complete, complete. And, and then when I when I went into my 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 actual OpenSea account, instead of saying a hundred plus the new one, or I even went into my my hidden list, uh, it, it it was actually lower. It was actually going lower. It's it went from ninety five, and it, I was like, oh my god! And at that point, I knew what was happening. I knew immediately what had happened. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh. And my heart was like DM that guy or the whoever like had the link posted and be like, bro, this is freaking bait. For, for what? You know, he did it. He, he was the hacker. He knew it was oh. probably a fake account. So he knew what it was. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so. oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Daniel. I hate to hear those stories. Like, I'm like terrified of links. My freaking dentist um, sent me um, a text and like with a link saying to like set up an appointment. And I called them because I didn't even want to click on that link. Like, I'm so afraid of links now. I'm like, I'm not <laughs> clicking any single any link that's sent to me. Like, I won't do it. <laughs> Same. Um, even before then, actually, um, I was super paranoid. I was super cautious. Anytime anybody would send me a link, I would always second guess it. Even when I when I go see my doctor, like I see them through video a lot, like they send me a link each time. I don't go through it. I actually go on the actual app and go through my app and and go, yeah, like, it's better it. to be safe than sorry. You know, like yeah. So so I I got my heart broken that day, and especially because that um, even though it wasn't like a whole lot of Omi. Like that Omi represented something to me because prior to me like buying that Omi, that was something that like like remember how I told you that I have like extreme bad luck for some reason. Uh, I'm like the luckiest but unluckiest person at the same time. Uh, you yeah. know, for some reason, every time there's a possibility of a glitch or something wrong, you know, happening in a transfer or in an app or whatever, uh, like there's a high chance that it's gonna happen to me, and it does. Uh, yeah. I to be in a like I said a little bit into stocks and crypto and then I decided to tra you know actually transfer to a different platform and in the process of transferring uh it, it actually got locked it got stuck and they sent it back and each time they were sending it back they were like charging 75 dollars so so the balance was actually going down and then by the time I I actually got my money and figure out what it was and I stopped it like it was so so lower and I ended up like transferring like fully to that account and then when I did, because I don't want to even name these these like establishments because that's how much I hate them. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to credit, no cloud, no nothing. Uh, but one of them has horns and it's full of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that. <laughs> and, and my money was stuck there for the longest. And for some reason, my KYC, it, it turned out it was a problem with my KYC. Even though I recommended my wife, she was able to, K exactly. She was able to KYC everything perfectly through the link that I gave her even though I was the one who got in that app first, blah, blah, blah. And my money ended up yeah. being, uh, I ended up acting a fool. And long story short, my money like shrunk all kinds. I had a chance to do a big play. I couldn't do it. So I finally got my money and just put it in the bank. And then I bought it by Ethereum. And then from Ethereum, I swapped it over to another thing. And then I swapped it to another, you know, shit coin. And then from that shit coin, uh, I, I sw swapped it back. <laughs> Ethereum, and then I swapped. I sent the Ethereum to my mask wallet so that I could finally swap to you know to Omi, and, and that was the last of that accomplishment because I had turned like three hundred dollars into a lot, and then I went from having a whole lot of money to like almost nothing, you know, at the end, and it was like very heartbreaking, you know, heartbreaking for me. <laughs> so, so that's how 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 I ended up, you know, getting into NFTs, you know, to yeah. I ended up like leaving all that behind. I got angry with. With stocks, I still buy crypto, you know, but just very, very, very small amounts. And now I'm planning on, on doing like a new new play, new plan. You know, I'm going to concentrate on Omi, a couple of shit coins and a little bit on Ethereum. Uh, I'm probably not going to put on, you know, put anything on Bitcoin, to be honest, even though that's like the, the coin to bet on. Like everybody. Wants coin, to, yeah. yeah. I'm actually going to concentrate on me, you know, other coins and then Ethereum and then, you know that's pretty much it for for crypto but for as far as nfts vb is at the top vb is my number one vb is mm -hmm. that my, my blanket of security i'm so sorry <laughs> like because i actually was affected by the crypto uh, by, the, by the cash out glitch i i literally did not have my cash for a month almost a month actually yeah almost a month so i was very angry with vb you know i was acting full and i actually <laughs> didn't want to leave vb i just wanted to make a play outside of vb so i could come back and, and actually buy more believe it or not because at that time, at that point, Ethereum was at nine hundred dollars. I'm like, this is gonna run up, and it did. It, it doubled up. Yeah. It's, but I knew what was, you know, it, it, anybody, you know, you know, with common sense could see the play happening. So I was like, this, this is really low. I have to buy. Like, I hate to do this, but I will be right back, and I'm gonna buy everything that I sold plus more. And you know, you know, till this day, you know, I have a certain amount of things on VB that I will not touch, even though they're not worth like a whole lot they just mean something to me you know i hold one percent of a comic and uh I, I will well now i own a little bit less but i didn't touch it like through even through the ups and downs i didn't touch that comic i own a couple of like art like artists like matt gondick i own a couple of 
part and I didn't touch, you know, like I owned uh, Toby and stuff. Like I, I, I broke the set, but there were certain, uh, you know, mints that I didn't, you know, didn't, you know, touch. But there were, there were certain, you know, there were certain collectibles that I just did not touch at all because, you know, I, I love them that much. I, like I said, I wasn't going to leave. Me. I was planning on coming back, but I was affected by the glitch. And, you know, that's how I ended up, you know, leaving for a little bit or not leaving, but concentrating on other projects and other, you know, by the VV fan, but uh, actually, you know, a lot of like the, you know, people from VV were going, venturing to other projects or having their own projects and they were still representing VV. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to support yeah. them, you know, so for sure I was going to support them, you know, you know, for sure, for sure. And, and, and you know, but now I'm back, I'm going to like concentrate, you know, I told myself all that money Yay. that I got on those projects, you know, no shade, you know, no shade to them, you know, I could have put into VV and I would have had, you know, a better position right now you know even though i have my wife's account i have my account you know but you know yeah uh, i could have been a, a little bit better i could have been a little bit better yeah. well you have to go through struggles sometimes to learn and you know it sounds like you really have overcome it and like you're at least you know content with what happened at this point and you're just ready to move on so i'm sorry that all that crappy shit happened to you but i'm happy that you're still here and you're sticking with us because we need your energy and personality in this community. So thank you. Um, I, we need <laughs> people like you, the creators, you know, people like you, Kobe Flex, <laughs> Vivi Volt's actually been an OG. He's been here for a while. Uh, there were OGs before VV Volt, but he's been one of the few that have been consistent for the drops. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of it have happened in his stream, you know, uh, yeah. but one before him that, he, I, I would honestly think that sometimes, you know, back then it would seem like Vivi would con consult him a little bit, which was the OG, but Thompson, you know, he actually yeah. doesn't have that big of a, a fan base for some reason, or, you know, he, you know, uh, he doesn't, Bob? no, no, um, but Thompson, and, and oh, he, he oh, yeah. actually had, he, he actually came up with a lot of strategies, he actually has like a lot of charts, he actually would do a lot of information for the community, and for surprisingly, like, he wouldn't get like a lot of support like the sport that you would think you know so i would always you know try to support you know but thompson even if i wouldn't you know comment down there it, I, like i said i would always do my 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 like but but yeah you know mm -hmm. I, you know there you know you guys are, are are the ones you guys are the stars <laughs> without you guys you know people like me wouldn't have learned in the beginning you know and still we, we're still learning you never you never stop learning they, they always yeah. aim there there's always new tips techniques new things happening sure you guys that are the, the stars not me it's just people like me that get 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 to be lucky and learn from you guys and be on on the channels and learn you know and kobe For sure. like those live streams you know i haven't been on one you know recently i'm not gonna lie but kobe <laughs> how you know his super long super fun uh all you would see was his hands so so yeah would, uh, so <laughs> those were pretty fun uh but but mm -hmm. Sometimes I wouldn't even be, you know, I wouldn't have a, a dog in the fight, but I would still watch the stream. I, you know, I wouldn't be in the giveaway. I wouldn't, but I would still be in there watching it, you know, for hours and hours. Because, yeah. you know, it's fun. You know, it's it's how we support. It's super entertaining. Like, mm -hmm. even when I wasn't in, like, one of his gold boxes or whatever, or um, blind box-like events, or one of his Pokemon battles. Yeah, I just like to see what he pulls. I mean, you don't really have to be in the comp competition to, like, enjoy the stream. Yeah. Um, his streams are really fun to watch and it's definitely got me like super into Pokemon, which I can't afford to like get into <laughs> another hobby and like collecting another thing, but I'm going to try. So. Yeah, no, <laughs> I know. I, I, I got to limit myself. I got to control myself because if I keep bringing too many projects, my wife is literally going to end up leaving. She's going to be like, <laughs> yeah, you're already lucky that she supports you in VV because apparently <laughs> a lot of these guys wives are like ex VV. So yeah. No, well, well, she got to see a little bit of, of my ups and downs. And then when she saw what I was doing, she's like, okay, well, maybe I'll take a little bit, you know, I'll take it a little bit more serious. But in the beginning, yeah. she was like a little bit like apprehensive. She was like, eh, I don't know, we, you know, I use that money for something else. You know, she has a mm -hmm. decent, she has an okay job, uh, I'm yeah. not gonna, but she's the type of person that she would rather spend it on something physical, like the stuff behind, you know, like actual, like something, you know, even if it's her hair, her nails, like even if it's nails, she would rather spend like a hundred dollars on nails versus an NFT because the way see, she, and that's where I'm different. You see these things, <laughs> don't look at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and see, it, and that, that's where where it comes. You know, she she she's one of those people that you know, but it's the it's the how we were raised too. You know, there, there's like a whole yeah. Whole, deep story to it 
you know, I'm actually lucky to have her, to be honest. She, I am, I almost, I got really lucky, you know, that I met her, you know, I, we both lost our jobs. <laughs> That's how we met through our job. Yeah. We ended up oh. together and we both lost our job and then we ended up working together at a different job, um, uh, which was, I don't want to like get too much into details because it's kind of sensitive, well, not sensitive, but sure. it could be sensitive to some people if they're going through losses because of the type of work that we were doing. Like we were private contractors for like the county and uh, like funeral homes and she actually owned her own business. So I don't want to get to, because it could be for some people, you know, it could bring up, you know, the reason for some sure. people is to forget about stuff and then I'm bringing up, you know, so. yeah. Was uh, that during COVID that you guys both lost your jobs? No. Or was it before? Yeah, I've been with her for almost 10 years. Oh, okay. So, so a while yeah, ago, yeah, for it's sure. Been a, been a while ago. Yeah, I, I used to be a plumber. And then uh, that's how I met. She She was like a like she was in it, like in the, the midst of transitioning. So she was a secretary and still had her, her business, but she's, so she was working both things. So she needed a little bit of extra, extra capital, I think, if I'm not mistaken, to, to make sure that everything was going smoothly on this side, you know, I said smoothly, but you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, on that side, <laughs> that's how we met. And, and yeah, it just turned out that our boss, you know, said no to love and he was jealous. I wish I had recorded it because uh, I, I used to make a lot, of, you know, through that job, through plumbing, a lot, a lot of money, uh, more than than you would imagine. And I don't want to get into details because of my ex. I remember how I told you, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah. A, a lot, a lot. I used to make a lot of money and uh, they actually ended up not putting one of my um, contracts into that my last check when we got fired. And I went to collect, and, and as we were leaving, we were. I used to smoke a lot too, cigarette, cigarettes, and, and he was smoking it outside. He and his son were smoking outside on the mm -hmm. way out. He's like, hey, hey, I just want you to know that, you know, it's nothing personal. You know, you were a really good plumber. You, you used to bring, like, you were one of my top dogs. And, I, you know, I used to bring a lot of service volume back then. Yeah. Uh, he's like, he's like you just you just stole my girl and he just straight up said, said it like that he's like the only reason i fired you is because you stole my girl and i was like yeah you know whatever I, I was still cool about it i was like you guys were my stepping stool I'm, I'm really grateful for the opportunity you know i'm actually applying for a different company which was better than me and i ended up getting the job actually uh, nice. so so it worked out in the end you know but uh yeah and you got the and you got your girl so whatever <laughs> and i got my wife. worth it <laughs> And the baby you hear in the background. <laughs> I don't know if you hear her now. I couldn't hear her, I don't think. No. Uh, no. no. She's over there playing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that, that's how I, I met my wife. But I'm very happy that I that I met her. And I'm very lucky that I that I have her. And the reason I said it is because she went through a tragic like accident. You know, and again, I don't want to, but she actually lost her dad and, and, a, and, a, and a younger sibling. And she herself was in a coma. She almost like didn't make it. So, so. Um. So I'm actually very fortunate to have her. That that's why I said I'm very lucky to have her and to have met her. You know, yeah. You know, it, it, that's awesome. Where fate brings people, you know, in the weirdest. I way. know, right? It's always like at the most like unexpected time too. Mm -hmm. So and, yeah, and I was just going through my 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 breakup slash messy divorce, and, and it, yeah, it, it happened at a perfect time. She was my my guardian angel, and and it just happened. <laughs> It happened, but now, awesome. I, now we're moving on, and then now we're venturing. Well, now she's a little bit more interested in, into the NFT world, but mm -hmm. I'm in the NFT space. And uh, uh, the, one of the reasons why, you know, remember I told you, uh, like, I'm, I'm actually disabled. Oh, oops, upside down. I'm actually disabled, uh, uh, you know, so I have a little bit of time sometimes. So uh, I may not have, like, time time, but I have, like, the time to, like, at least grab my phone and check prices and check how this collection is doing and be able to mess with it. So I'm venturing a little bit more into the, the NFTs and, and trying to concentrate and build stuff for my kids in case, you know, something were to happen to me, I could leave something for them, you know, and, yeah. and what they choose to do with them, then that, that's going to be up to them. But at least I'm going to leave something for them. You know, it may yeah. not be physical land, but it's going to be some type of... <laughs> <laughs> Even if for sure the metaverse and the vv verse for sure yeah that's awesome so you're kind of like i don't know if you were um if you joined the stream with like mr v that i did but he was saying the same thing that he doesn't plan to like sell any of his collectibles he's like keeping them to like give to his children as like heirlooms or whatever so that's kind of cool like that you guys aren't like 
greedy and money hungry, like, oh, I'm going to be a millionaire one day. Like, you're <laughs> like, nah, this is for my kids. They'll be set for life. So I love that. You know, if I were, if anything, I, I, I like, I don't think I would be able to be like that. I, 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 by accident, and again, I don't want to bring up bad vibes, but by accident, I started like bumping into these videos across, and, and like, I knew how bad it is, and I, and I, and I had an idea because I've been to places that are pretty bad, you know, mm -hmm. personally. But I physically got to see things that are happening, you know, through YouTube. But still, it was like like eye opening. It's like if I ever do get in a position where I could actually make a difference, like I am actually going to look for the foundations, the charities that can actually make a difference and help those people because this is crazy, you know, you know. So yeah. so, you know, that's if you know. I still I'm still a bit of a dreamer, you know. And then I have yeah. some people that, that that I follow on Twitter, you know. Now I I, I don't post it, but I still do it, and I'm I'm still going to keep to my word. I buy quick picks every other week or every week. And I used to post them every every week on Twitter, and I told them that when I win, like everybody that I follow, especially like my own homies, like they're already covered. Like they're they're gonna get even if it's a little bit. Like I'm gonna make sure that I, I make sure that everybody gets a little bit of it, because there's no reason for me to be greedy if if I got a blessing from you know from from a, a hand that that wasn't supposed to be dealt. So if I'm gambling with a dollar or two dollars on quick picks, and I happen to get millions of dollars, then I don't see the <laughs> I don't see why I can't you know give a little bit spread. You know? The love yeah, to, to yeah. The you know and every and, awesome. I, and i go to the same places and i tell the, the the people that i buy it from they already know me you know i'm like hey remember my promise every time every single time they already know me so yeah so say it and they're like oh yeah good luck good luck my friend you know because they already know that if i win everybody's gonna get a little bit you know it might not be a whole whole lot lot but it's definitely going to be like you know like something either way the the generosity and like the the genuineness I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> of like <laughs> just the thought, you know, is really awesome. I think that's super cool. You're you're a really nice guy. <laughs> uh, no, no, you're you're too kind, not even. It, it, like I said, you know, we all have our moments, you know. I, I grew up from a different path, so you know, I I'm trying to make up for all the bad stuff, you know. And I, I actually had a, a decent uprising, you know. My mother was su super de she was a decent woman. She she mm -hmm. just just that she was very strict, super religious, you know. Uh, she actually left, uh, she actually didn't leave. My dad left us when I was four and she ended up raising five kids. So she actually turned to religion a little bit more. And that was actually one of the reasons why my dad left because she was actually turning to religion and he didn't like the religion that she was turning into because uh, they used to be Catholics and she was turning to, well, she was already like, kind of like sort of a Jehovah witness and, and they're mm -hmm. super strict. So my dad didn't like that. And he actually left and he came back like 10 minutes later. And I still remember this. Uh, I was 10, you know, I was four years old. And he told my mom, "Well, if you if you if you choose me versus God, you know your God, then I'll stay. You don't have I, I don't have to leave." And my mom's like, "No, I can't do that." She took that as a test. So I'm like, "Oh my, not not then, but now, you know, when I think about it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, like the, the, it's not silliness. It's just her belief, you know. Like most people yeah. would have been like, sure, like you know, I'll, I'll I'll make sure that you know I obey my husband, blah blah blah. You know, especially back then, the, you know, the mentality was completely different back then. You know, beliefs." For sure. It was a completely different time, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm 35 now, uh, so it, it, even though it, it doesn't seem like a long time, it's been a long time. Even back, yeah. back then, it was, it was completely, a completely yeah. different. You know, times are different, beliefs are different, people were different, you know. Oh, I'm sure. I know. <laughs> I always tell my mom that she's lucky that she got to grow up in the 80s because I feel like it would have been better to not have like cell phones and like all this stuff like obviously the technology is cool having these nfts and like these spaces and being able to like talk to each other and get to know people all the way around the world it's obviously very cool um but i kind of just liked that you know like people had to be outgoing not outgoing but like More you know what i mean like you had to you had to go socialize with people like on your own and you had to ride bikes and be responsible at a young age and like know when to get home before the street light come on and stuff like that you know like it was just like common courtesy or like common like i get why they say like back then there was common sense and now these days there's like no sense is because <laughs> you know what i mean i don't know yeah. no no i i know exactly what you mean for sure yeah. definitely different times for sure though yeah and <laughs> not to go too much on a tangent but i'm gonna tell you a little bit of my mom like this is how how strict she was and like how overprotective she was like we we moved around a whole bunch because as soon as we would start developing friendships or, or bad associations that she did not like she would pick up and move 
uh, and she would just uproot us. She had no problem with changing comp- like town cities and, and Bit extreme, it. no? <laughs> yeah, but that's because <laughs> that type of mentality to protect us because she was by herself. She was now the yeah. mother and she was dealing with five kids mm-hmm. and they were just to deal with. So, so she would uproot and, and whatever. And when one of my older siblings would go out and do bad things, she would hunt them down and she would find them. And, and I, and I always wondered like how she would do it, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then I, it happened to me. Like I started, you know, rebellion or, you know, rebelling around puberty, you yeah. know, like the normal uh-huh. stuff, but I got kind of hardcore into the street, you know, to be honest, but everybody was as crazy as they were. They actually feared my mom. And for some reason, <laughs> How she would do it, she would find me every single time. It didn't matter where I would be, mm-hmm. how I would do it. She would know exactly where I was at. I, it, it, it came to the point where I would have, if she were to drop me off, I would have her drop me off like half a mile or like a, like three blocks away. And I would jump fences, literally like fence after fence after fence just to get to the street where I would, would have to go. And then another fence just to get to the house where I would want to go to make sure my mom wouldn't find me. And yet like everybody would know, oh shit, here comes like these mom. And everybody would run and everybody started laughing, like hide the beers, hide everything because, you know, here comes my mom. And it's like, Jeez. mom. Like I'll be home, like whatever, whatever, and then you know mm-hmm. I'll be, of course. <laughs> that is but, so funny. But but you know it's the type of mom that I that I had. But you know, yeah, it, it's what she had. She 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 had to work with. So you know, it it, it 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 you know it resonated with me. You know, it helped me develop. You know, my parent skills a little bit. You know, I yeah. learned from mistakes from her. You know, for her stuff and. And I used it, but, you know, it, believe it or not, some of her stuff, like, actually works, you know, within the community. Like, I could spot, like, decent people. And that, like, she she had, like, she was actually very social. That's the only thing. She was actually a social person. Uh, but so I actually learned, like, certain things. Like, she could spot, like, and she she wasn't afraid to say things. Like, oh, like, if she, like, thought something of you. Like, she wasn't, say, but she wouldn't say it rude either. But she would say it to you, like, oh, like, your shirt's too, like, revealing. Or, or you look, you know, or or she would tell you like, oh, that's a slutty thing. Don't do that. She but, sounds just like my grandma. Like oh. <laughs> they would get along. They would be best friends. Uh, you and I have it. Um, the same thing in common. Um, I feel like you and I probably would have been friends as kids. Uh, my mom was a single mom of five children as well. Um, and yeah, once I about hit puberty, you know, you go through your trouble phase and become a little uh hooligan, I guess. <laughs> And my poor mom, uh, my dad was actually an abusive alcoholic. And so once they finally divorced when I was 10, she felt bad to like spank us or like put her hands on us at all because of like how bad he was to us. So, you know, she's just like, let us get away with murder pretty much. And we knew it. And so after like the first couple of years, we like caught on to like, I can do whatever I want. And then at that time, you know, I'm turning like 12, 13 and I'm like, I can do whatever I want. I'm 13. I know everything, you know, how we are as kids. <laughs> and so, yeah, definitely trouble. But my grandma played a big part in like being like our dad. And like, that's why everything you just said totally reminds me of my grandma. I remember she walked in the backyard and we were having a, a party in our backyard because my mom would work night shifts. So we just waited for her to leave. And we were having a party in my backyard and my grandma comes walking up and she's like, what are you doing? what are you, you guys are drinking. She was so mad. And all my friends were terrified of her because like, she was just so pure, you know, you feel guilty to like smoke in front of somebody that like, is just like that. You know what I mean? You yeah, know exactly feel, what I mean. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. No, yeah. well, you know, we would have been buddies as kids. Yeah. The struggles of a, of a teenager, you know, that's it, how, how it is. I was, but it, yeah, the t- different now i don't know if it has to do with technology maybe even covid but uh everything's different now the kids are different everything's different they're into completely different things which is a good thing i'm actually happy you know uh b- back in the day um, the kids would have wanted to be more in the street you know now they're more into video games fortnite whatever roblox etc cetera, etc cetera, you know so so i'm actually happy about that but uh i have five kids i don't know uh if you, you have five kids five kids yeah i have five okay. kids four from a previous marriage i have the one little one right here with me uh, with me all the time i have the boys on, with me on the weekends or every other weekend but especially with covid Yay. now i don't pick them up you know just to be cautious you know just to be safe 
But uh, believe it or not, a, a lot of some people know this. Uh, you know, there luckily I, I, there's not too many, so I don't feel like you know, you know, like bad opening about it or anything. Not that I should, but uh, all four of them are diagnosed with autism. Uh, all four at one point were, were severe. Luckily now three of them have changed the spectrum. Like they're all still autism. Uh, mm -hmm. Two are, are now high functioning Aspergers. Uh, two of them are still severe. Uh, one of them is completely, completely severe autistic. Uh, he like has like min less vocabulary than my two year old. Uh, he was in diapers until he was like almost 10. Uh, he was yeah. very aggressive with himself. Like, especially as he was little, he still takes medication. He has to, he has to be medicated. Uh, but he, when he was little, like little, 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 I'm talking about little, like my two year old, whenever he would get upset, instead of like, like, blowing up like a normal kid he would go to like the hardest surface he would find he would go to like the corners of the like the, the walls and, and bang he, his head huh bang his head as hard as possible my cousin my cousin that's autistic does the same thing when he gets really mad or he takes his hair and starts pulling it on like tried pulling it out of his head mm. i'm like no don't hurt yourself because you're mad like don't do that but he doesn't understand you know yeah, he, he doesn't do that anymore now. He, he'll like for, like slap himself from, from time to time. But he used to be super, super violent with himself. He used to like hurt himself to the extreme. You know, yeah. like, it was such, such a tough, tough thing, you know, especially be bad. before he was undiagnosed. Like I knew because I've been around kids like we're, we're like talking so much, not even about me or kids or our, our yeah. dad. But I'm sorry. But yeah, I already knew a lot about kids. So I already knew, you know, when I had him, like, I'm like, oh, no, something's wrong with him. And I would tell the doctor, hey, something's wrong with him. Something's wrong with him. But they would look at us as a young couple. They're like, no, you're just like, you just need to figure it out. Blah, blah, blah. You're just being paranoid parents. Yeah. yeah. And then one one day I took him on when he was having one of his episodes, his tantrums, and she didn't know what to do. She she just was rambling, like, like literally, like scattering. She went on her computer, did a little thing, got a referral, and finally sent us to like a actual like a hospital where they fo like focus and and they're actually known where I, where I live. I'm, I live in a big city. I'm from the yeah. Bay Area. They send us to to like Stanford, so so they send us to to where where they do like diagnostics and stuff. So. Uh -huh. they, they, they they did the they ran they didn't have to but they ran the test they did whatever they had to do and yeah at he was two and a half almost three and they diagnosed him with autism but they gave him the mentality of an eighth month or, or nine month old so so his mentality was like so like behind that he was basically like a two year old or two and a half year old with the mentality of a baby which is why he wow. was aggressive like is your fifth is your fifth child autistic as well no luckily she's not she's so intelligent she could talk she knows her abc she knows how to count do you, up to, to almost do you 30. think that was something with like the mother like genetically uh, or something we don't know we believe so because she has like a really large family and a lot of her and i mean large large family they have like a large family and like almost every single one of her cousins has like one child with like special needs in one shape or form oh, dang like, like kids with special needs in her family, but uh, I don't How know. How old are your kids, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, 16, 15, 14, and 12, and then the baby too. Then you guys didn't give yourselves any breaks between those children, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> different back, times. Back pregnancies. <laughs> different times back then. Uh, but yeah, uh, it, it was hard at first. You know, I took the, the, the what's it called? The, the diagnosis pretty pretty hard i i, I actually I started crying you know because yeah it, it literally confirmed everything that i believed i knew there was something wrong with him you know the mother was in denial he would always get left behind with me we would always stay behind when they would go to birthday parties because he didn't know how to act and it, it mm -hmm. you know there was a reason dang but yeah. well you say that he's like pretty much better <laughs> well like not not yeah. diagnosed um autistic anymore now he just has As no, no. asperger's no, not, not him. Not him. He's still severe. Oh. He's still, he, yeah, okay. he's no, no. Th the three other ones, uh, two, oh, okay. two, two are, are are Aspergers, and two are still like in the high spectrum of autism. Uh, yeah, but he, he is one like the highest one. Like out of the four, he is the the most severe. I should say. Dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but see that that's the reason why I'm doing it. It's for them. That, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Same. That has to be so rough for a parent. Like that's like the only reason that scares me to be like. A parent is like having a kid that's like Down syndrome or something because obviously I'm still gonna love them like I'm not saying anything like that of course but it's just so hard my cousin had um 
her first child and he is deaf in one ear and half deaf in the other ear. And at first they didn't know that, you know, but after a while when the baby isn't waking up to dogs barking or loud screeching outside or something like my cousin was like, this is weird. Like he sleeps like a rock and I don't feel like babies sleep like rocks, you know? So they like took him in and they did like all the tests and it like he, they figured out that he's like deaf and they finally got him like um, a ear plant or implant for one for his ear that um, partially works. And so now he's gone through a couple surgeries and he has like the actual, like in his ear plant. Like, so now he doesn't have to worry about like pulling it off all the time. Um, but because he couldn't, well, still can't like fully hear, he like doesn't talk a lot and he has like a bad speech impediment um, because of it. And so she's like going through all of that and like talking to her about it. Um, that's like not even close in my opinion to like autism. So I know that doing that, especially with four children has to be like super, super rough. So I'm sorry that that's the cards you were dealt, but I know that you still love and support your children the same. So definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The yeah, there was a time where we lived like three hours away. Uh, so I, every single weekend, my wife, well, I, I got to give her credit because she, she would do the driving because of my back. Uh, mm -hmm. She would do the driving. And every weekend we would uh, drive from our place three hours to their place three hours there and another three hours back. And then to wow. drive the same. So we would do that every weekend. Pick them up, blah, 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 come back. And then drop it them. It sucks that you couldn't figure out like a bi-weekly thing since it was just so far away. But it's worth the drive to see our kids. Definitely. I mean, my dad, my dad lived right down the street from us and he still didn't come pick us up on the weekends. <laughs> well, that's the funny thing. Now that we live in the city, we only live like 15 minutes away because of COVID. Now I, I actually see them less. Like at first I would see them so, so much. Like, I mean, so, yeah. so much. We're always here. And then when COVID happened, like it literally like slowed it down. And then with the baby mm -hmm. being especially like now we're even more cautious. And then with my wife having no spleen because of the accident, like yeah. they have to be even more cautious. She's like shot, like she has a shot, the booster, extra booster, like, you know, she, she's up to, to par with everything. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so uh, it's a little bit more difficult now, but it's, it's so crazy now that we're closer. I actually see them a little bit less than I did when, when we were um, you know, further yeah. apart. It's because of the, the, the pandemic has, you know, affected it. But, yeah. and, uh, you know, they, well, hopefully it, things it, subside and you can start seeing your kids again, because obviously it's a big part of your life and important to you. So I hope that, you know, things get better and turn around. I mean, I kind of see COVID as just being a flu eventually, like looked at as the flu, you know, like it's going to be around forever. It's not going really anywhere. So hopefully, you know, we can just do your kids. Are your kids able to get vaccinated? Uh, I think, I think they've been vaccinated to be honest. Okay. Um, uh, but I, I'm not sure about the booster. I think they've all been vaccinated, but I'm not a hundred percent about the, the booster. Okay. Uh, well, it but, sucks that your ex is so malicious to you as well for, cause it's, to me, it sounds like you've been trying to be a good dad and she's just like <laughs> hater. <laughs> I, my mom would have super appreciated if my dad even cared at all. So. Yeah. Well, well, you know, like I said, I, I don't want to talk too much shit about her because she's not here to defend herself. But put it this way, like, sure. if, if if my kids would like be on, on PS5 because I have, you know, on, on, on PS Live, whatever, and we're yeah. playing the same game and they want to do an Easter egg because I used to be a lot into the Easter eggs for like Call of Duty games and stuff. So oh, I used yeah. to do, like the Easter eggs. Uh, mm -hmm. so, they, so they would hop on and they would try to do them with me. And if she were to find out, she would, you know, like say like, well, next time you need to call me first and make sure that I say it's okay, blah, blah, blah. You know, because in her mind, I think she thought that I'm trying to spy or trying to listen in the background, see what I could hear. So, you know, that that was her defense. You know, she, was, she thinks that I was trying to spy, you know, somehow. Uh, so so there were times where I, I, I didn't. So now I don't even play games. You know, the only time I play games with them is when they come over. So I used to play a lot of Fortnite with them, a lot of a lot of Call of Duty with them. But now I uh, now actually my like my heart's not even into video games anymore. Even even when I have the time to play, it's VV. If I have time, if I have <laughs> time to spare, it, it goes to the phone. If not, yeah. it's on the baby and the wife and the kids. But yeah. any other time that I have to spare, I I, I grab the phone and, and put it on VV. 
because you know that's that's where 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 my heart is right now at the moment. You yeah. know, uh, my wife and kids, but mm -hmm. it, something materialistic or for something. It's your getaway from reality. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's it's my my way, uh, you know, of of letting you know unplugging. Even though I'm plugging, I'm, I'm unplugging from reality. And yeah. Going, to this you know to this place where i can dream and then hopefully one day you know have something you know you know cool and of value that i could share with everyone and my kids and yeah about it. but i know i haven't even been looking at the comments too much man you know i, I know shout out to a lot of like, i know i was gonna say um not to like dismiss like your personal life um like i said i feel i feel for you and i definitely understand more of why you're so generous and like um genuine is because somebody that goes through struggles like that in their life are bound to be either the most genuine people that you know or like the biggest asshole you know you know <laughs> i don't feel like there's really a gray area when it comes to that they either you know kind of do what you did and like take what you're given and roll with it and do the best you can or you know they're mad at the world because they were dealt these cards and it's everybody else's problem and so keep your head up you know things will turn around you'll see your kids more often hopefully and very appreciated we have we have a great community here that was always willing to support you especially me like anytime you're ever going through something you could always feel free to hit me up you know obviously we live not in the same state so i don't know if I could help you like physically with anything, but I mentally and emotionally, you know, I got you. So feel free to always hit me up. I'm always here for support. So thank, thank you. No, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, see, and, and see, this is what I love about VV, the community that it has behind it. Right. And, and, that, and I'm going to bring up open C again, but not for, for the, the reasons you think when open C <laughs> happened, act like it was actually the vv fam that came up and like was supportive it was them who like most it was most of them like there was other artists but it was mostly the vv fam like yeah. even the art, artist that i had uh, that day i had just purchased a, a painting or or an nft from someone and not even that person like reached out to me it was the community and they were like like saying like oh you know like so sorry this happened to you like send me your your, your wallet blah 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 and and the reasons why I didn't send them is because like I told you, like I would have felt like, like the, the hacker would have won. They would have lost, yeah. lost. Everybody loses except the hacker. So uh, that one NFT is the only one that I accepted, but everyone, everybody else's is, is like, Oh my gosh, thank you so much. But you know, I cannot accept, you know, I'm super, super embarrassed to, you know, I was just, you know, venting, letting you guys, I appreciate you guys hearing me out. Thank you. You know, but, and, and yeah, I especially, it was the thought, the thought meant more than anything than actually accepting the, the NFT. To be yeah. Honest. Uh, you just That's knowing cool. that they were offering it it's like pretty cool and like i said uh yeah. Saturday, you know a decent painter yeah just de decent artist he offered you know to send me you know one to my wallet too and i said no thank you for his mm -hmm. i actually regretted it a lot <laughs> i regretted saying no thank you to him but uh i, I need to send you all of mine on open sea except for this one sorry you can't uh, have that one but <laughs> but i need to send you all the other ones i have because i don't really get on there and i won a couple of the um vv vault okay i can't give away what people gifted me because you know that's rude but <laughs> um <laughs> he gave me one of the um wow why can't i think of them the disney Fine. characters but have the really big ears sad, sad, what are buns. They? sad, sad buns. buns yeah yeah um he sent me one of those but i think it's still by sad buns too they're like little trophies that are like gold and silver with the hel football helmets or something yeah, those like are that so yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have like a bunch of those. I won a Twitter giveaway and they sent me like four. So oh. if you, I'll send you some if you uh, want no, them. No, no, no. I want to give them to you. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm not taking no as an answer. So uh, you're either going to hear from me like <laughs> until you say yes or you're just going to have to say yes. So I don't know. That's what I tell my daughter. Yes. Or <laughs> yes, is it? Every time I'm, I'm going to feed her. I'm like, <laughs> Want this flavor? It's yes or yes. Which, yeah. That's our Which one? Which you one? don't have an option. I'm just telling you, this yeah. is what you get. So. But see, that, that, that's my point exactly. It's like the community behind, there's like, it, it's unrivaled. Like a lot of projects come up and they try to come up and they try to siphon from VB. And that's what I said. Yeah. Like I, I came up with the realization that a lot of people are coming in and pretending to be in for BB just to siphon some of the people and, you know, bring them mm -hmm. to a And it's like, they're not bad people, but, you know, yeah. the, 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 they're, they're just coming in, you know, with 
with the the agenda, if you want to call it an agenda, you know, with with, with the reason of getting you know people from this community and bringing them up, yeah. which there's nothing wrong with. You know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But uh, you know, they, they come in, they they fish, and they come in and 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 they take some of us out. You know, and like I said yeah. earlier, instead of me focusing and putting like whatever, whether it was a hundred, four hundred, a thousand dollars on NFTs out there, I could have put that yeah. into, and and I would have had so many NFTs right now. And, it's yeah. okay you know now it's better yeah. to know now than mm -hmm. never so yeah well at one point i was i was doing really really good i had rizzo i had todd and and all this with very very little money with very very little money I yeah actually, you know was in the market like i said I, I i didn't have my daughter so i was able to do moves i was up all night i was literally <laughs> up all night uh, and, yeah very little you know and, and during the day because of my back i'm on pain anyways 24 7 i'm like in excruciating pain and my mobility is limit limited it's very very yeah. limited. you know i move like a 90 year old so there are times where i literally don't go out of my apartment i'd rather not I, I have you know two cars in my disposal my wife has her when she goes to work i have two and i choose not to because of my back i can't my, my back yeah. is messed up and my eyes are so bad that i that i'd rather not and it's just like physically like impossible like sometimes just to get to the car for me get, like in my apartment i have to walk across another building just to get to the elevator like just to get to my car it's not as simple as just stepping out and going yeah there's and going to the garage and getting into my 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 car your car yeah it's pretty freaking far for someone it, it seems stupid and it, like hopefully like, you can get an apartment change soon and be on the first floor <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so hard it, to move. You you have no idea. I we actually moved uh, before we had our daughter. Uh, one apartment over to have a be bigger place for her. Yeah, it was so difficult. And, and we're we're thinking of getting a bigger place, like an actual home, because mm -hmm. it's expensive anyway. So it, it, it's yeah. almost three thousand uh, here. So I think we're probably gonna try to get a, a house, even if it's a rental, because uh, I don't know. Uh, you know how. How how the 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 market's gonna be right now for the moment? So until we stabilize ourselves and the market stabilizes, like what we, mm -hmm. if we were to get a place, it would have to be a rental, you know, just to make sure that nothing bad happens. Because well, because you live in Cali, right? Mm -hmm. And with the rental, you live in like the most expensive state in the U.S., so yeah. that doesn't help. <laughs> and with the rental, you could always move. You, you know, you just pay yeah. the and you know make sure you, you you have a good you know reputation a good background and you don't mess up the place and you get a new yeah. place so that that's the good thing about ha being, having a rental versus owning you know which we do plan just right now we're a little scared you know and then with yeah. everything, it's, it's super super scary scary for us you know not impossible yeah. very scary but yeah, yeah. Hopefully well, good luck on finding a house. Are you guys like actively looking now, or that's like something that you plan to do, like probably once winter passes? Oh, I don't know. Do you guys get winter in California? I don't know. We, we do, <laughs> but not the type of winters that you probably get over there in Colorado. Uh, yeah, no. To, yeah, we would have to go to like Lake Tahoe or like Yosemite to like like. Mm -hmm. Oh, sometimes down south, if it gets really cold, like some snow will fall, like L.A. and stuff. But it's mm -hmm. not not common. Yeah, uh, common places. It's not common. Yeah, it's more like yeah. more more up this year, more more up the mountains. Like we do get snow in the mountains. Like you'll see it here, but yeah. it's not accessible. You literally have to go into the mountains to play with it, unless you go to Tahoe, like yeah. I said. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I know why why you asked because of the painting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, by the way, that painting because supposedly they're not for sale. It's from the '60s. It actually has a price tag in the back. It's seventy nine ninety nine. So it's probably like a thousand dollars worth of of money of, of the 60s but yeah. suppose, it, it was supposed to be a ross it's the only thing that i kept in from the divorce my Bob Ross, supposedly which i don't believe it so so he would probably so, sign it if it was bob ross no it, it, it's signed but the only thing he can make out is the ross you can't and and, and he would that's how his signature is yep yeah. But but that's what I'm saying. It, 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 it's Ross, but he wouldn't sign Bob Ross. And there's like there's like one letter or two letters before Bob Ross. So I don't know if it's an initial or, or something. And you can huh. get it out. Yeah, because I thought that he took like a B. Like he did like a B, but it was like very narrow. So I thought he did like a B. It almost looked like a, a half butterfly. You know how like children draw like a three and a stick like a butterfly. <laughs> and then like um his Ross. You might have yeah. a Bob Ross, my friend. No, I doubt it because I think I doubt it. 
they're all locked up and, and because of the background right here being so dark it's even harder to make out it's like super super hard to make out the 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 the, the writing but i'm pretty sure i'm like 99 percent sure that it's not it's not but uh, yeah you have to go get that evaluated go bring it to like what don't they have um pawn stars in kelly the is that in cali i would have to know that's that's in uh las vegas that's in nevada oh yeah, no, I would have to take it to the antique roadshow wherever it happens, or or it, I think they they themselves, the family of Bob Ross, are the only ones that could actually like uh, certify it or, or make sure that it's legit. Oh. Taken, which really? is, sure, it's not real, but it's from the sixties. It's super old, and it still has a price tag in the back. See, look, this is how he used to sign it. So, like the B look like a. Sorry, my ring. Oh my goodness. Sorry, no. and it's also backwards. Here. Hold on. I, I want to show you. <laughs> Either way, I guess. You need to get that evaluated because that's freaking cool. That would be crazy if you're sitting over there with a Bob Ross. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not, but uh, it's still uh, it's still a cool painting from the 60s. Uh, I think the, the thing that meant more to me is that my mom that's the one thing that she would always keep every time we would move. Like every time we would move, uh, we would start over with like more or less with new furniture, new stuff. And it wasn't much, by the way. But that was the only thing that was always with us. Like that painting. Is it was... like this? Sorry. Oh. Is it like that? Like Ross with like little. The, the R looks a little bit like that. And you can't really make out the O, but the S's look like that. The R looks a little bit kind of like that. Bro, uh, you have a I, I don't, the, I don't, I don't, the things that things that are hard to make out. That's like a date, so it's seventy nine. Oh, so man. instead of letters, is it like a date? Sorry, it, it, I it, love it, Bob Ross. That's so cool. <laughs> if it's a Bob Ross, I want I'm it to pretty, be a Bob Ross so bad. I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's not. And, and then I also have like a box of like china, like fine china, uh -huh. but they're still in the original boxes. And my mom got those before she she had gotten married to my dad. Uh, oh. and she actually got them like actually like the week of getting married to my dad. And then she ended up buying a bunch of like a bunch more. But when she passed away, like my sisters got most of it. And then I ended up just, you know, grabbing a box or two. And then I have it at my mother's house, uh, my mother's house, my mother in law's house. But it still mm -hmm. has the original boxing, like with the China, like the original, original China writing, the original dates. Yeah. It's, it's like the original wrapping, like everything. It's a little messed up yeah. now because storaging and you know getting like water damage you know here of course and yeah it's like, part of the boxes and stuff but i have like all the original like that i my, i gave my mom's couches to my mother-in-law they're at her house now but i have that and and then her china and that's all i kept but that's why i like i, I like art I, I like art a lot yeah. i used to have so you've always been a collector yeah I, I had a big big collection of, of video game consoles video games i had everything except the atari and i had them in boxes and i actually had like a semi brand new Nintendo NES uh, in the box. I had a Jaguar. I had a Dreamcast. I had Sega Saturn, Sega, which is Sega CD, basically the same. Yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. I, I I had like all the Ninja Turtles. I had all their like little side, like little toys, like all like the, the little like like all action their, figures. Yeah, but the actual pieces, like the, the like the sword, like Donald Tino. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. So so I had everything. Like I had Thank a bunch. Of yeah, I, but when I when when I got the divorce, like I had, I, I left all that behind. I, I left it for my kids. I I, I left the, I left everything. Oh, everything, okay. Everything. For the kids, yeah. for the kids, not yeah. for her. Okay. <laughs> so I, but she ended up throwing it away and selling it. So it's not like they kept it anyways. I had Touch that girl. Oh. Yeah. I had People original. Suck. <laughs> I know. I had original Toy Story toys. Uh, the Jurassic Park, which I like Jurassic, as you can see in the back. I, I had the original Jurassic Park toys. I had like so much stuff that that would have been worth the pen, pretty penny now, you know. But yeah, it is what it is. I have more stuff, not more stuff, but I have new stuff now. I have different stuff. Do you have I'm, Monopoly back there as a collectible? I collect <laughs> so many. Yeah, I have all the not all, but I have a lot of Monopolies. I have one of the original monopolies i have this one i have like the the it monopoly i have on animal crossings i have what do i have there's animal crossing monopoly yeah i have the game of life monopoly i have don't they have like a simpsons monopoly do you have yeah. that one no i i think we used to have that one but my kids opened it and then when we moved here we we actually lost 
most of that one. So I tossed that one away, but I, but I have like a lot of them and they're still sealed. This is the only one of the few ones that it's not sealed because I like to play it. So this yeah. one's open, but uh, I have a lot, a lot of like exclusive monopolies that are sealed. And That's have, crazy. That's yeah, cool. My, my collection is all over the place. I have like the old school hot, hot wheels. I have like the original, like hot wheel, like carrier box. I have like, like hot wheels from like way, 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 way back then. Some of the original hot wheels. I have newer Hot Wheels. Shoot, what do I have? I have. I don't. I don't have it up here right now. I was gonna show you. I guess I could go grab it if you really care. But I have the um, the uh, yellow submarine Hot Wheel oh, from the so Beatles. Do I. Yeah, so do I. Oh, yeah, I, I have that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we have. When it comes to certain exclusive Hot Wheels, I have like a bunch of them. I have like the Scooby Doo Hot Wheels. I have like uh, like. I so used to have that one, and I lost it at McDonald's. I remember we were playing, you know, in their playpen, and yeah. I could not find it, and I was like devastated. That was like my favorite toy for a long time. Yeah, I, I have that one sealed. <laughs> I have a bunch of stuff. Like, I should have, yeah. but my parents didn't tell me that you know these things could be worth money one day. They're like, do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm into shoes too, believe it or not. I'm a big shoe, like a sneakerhead. Like oh I my god! To, I used to have these original, like in the, like these are brand new. But I these I used to have the original ones, like the original twelves. Like these are still like dope. But I uh, I used to have the original twelves, like the retro twelves. I have like a bunch of the same shoes, like like in different like colors. Daniel, I, Daniel, look. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Okay. Oh yeah. Same. This is my man's oh, shoe. Yeah, you have, this yeah, is he, my he man. Has a, yeah, he has he has some of the, the toes right there. Those are great. He has three of them, three different ones. Yeah, somewhat like my closet. Yeah, except you guys have a little bit more room and a lot more organized. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, he's all about organization. Like, yeah, no, well, well, so do I. He's a bit OCD when it comes to it. <laughs> yeah, but it's because our apartment is small and then my wife. So I have to, like, I don't want to make her seem like she's, like, messy, but I have to, like, like balance it because otherwise she gets a little like why are you like like you're not my dad you know so I have to like 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 allow messes to happen like be okay with them otherwise it's like it's not a okay you know unfortunately goes, that's kind of how it is between us too yeah. like yeah. it's not that like you said it's not that I'm like tear the place apart don't give a frick you know but I'm I'm an artist so you know. Uh, I'm just like scatterbrained, so I'll start painting, and then while I wait for that to dry, I come upstairs, and I'm like, ooh, I can start doing this. Then I go downstairs, and I start playing video games, and then soon enough, I realize that I have like three projects all over the house, you know? So, <laughs> and yeah. he's like, he'll be like, Kyla, pick up your crap. I'm like, okay, sorry. I tell him to give me reminders, because, you know, I know yeah. like, especially growing up uh, with four other siblings, it was easy for the house to like get messy. So I almost kind of like grew up more messy. So it's kind of, it's not that it's, I want to like live in a messy house. It's just not as noticeable, I guess, you know, like when you didn't grow up and like his mom is such a clean freak. If you go to her house and you like sneeze, she like gets the disinfectant spray and is like, whoosh, <laughs> like she's, She's like Sheldon status. Like, I don't uh, know if you watch Big Bang yeah. Theory, but she's like that. Like, <laughs> All right, so okay. I'm happy that we balance each other out, though. You know, it's really nice. Yeah. yeah, well, well, it's it's the same with us. It's a it's a balance. You know, when when she first got with me and she came to my place, my place was like spotless. Everything had a place. Like every yep. time I dish, I would wash it right after, you know, every time I would cook, I would actually clean the stove before I would eat, believe it or not. And, and then and then. <laughs> So, yeah. so I was, I was pretty, pretty much a OCD. A freak. routine. Yeah. So, so yeah. I had to like let go. You know, there are times that I do talk a little bit of shit. I'm not gonna lie, but I try not to be too crazy, too critical. And then there are times where I don't say anything at all. It's like whatever. It is what it is. You know, she lives here too. It's 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 her. I've been with her for so long that I'm already used to it. You know. And yeah. So I think I'm just like. I mean, I'm sure he's probably the same way. I mean, we've been together for four years and some months or whatever. So. But I'm also I'm also trying to do better for him. So you know we're both working together to Our work. <laughs> make it better for each other. You, you help Bearable. each other grow. It's how, it's how it's how a relationship <laughs> is supposed to be. You help each other grow. You better each other. You know exactly. 
you're not always going to be at the same, you know, frequency. There's going to be times where one is a little bit, you know, different off and it, it, you're just going to have to level it back to tune it to, to get back to where you need to be. So yeah. that's one of those things, you know, you just got to work on it and it's relationships, relationships themselves are hard, you know, and this is my second. Well, I feel like that's why a lot of relationships and like our, in my generation don't work is because nobody's willing to put in the work, you know, they're like, Oh, I'm unhappy. I need to go find someone that makes me happy. It's like, no, like, you're not going to be happy 24-7 in a relationship. Like, I don't know if you watch too many Disney movies or what, but, like, you're not going <laughs> to. It's not, it's not, you meet the right one, and it's, like, rainbows and butterflies ever, forevermore, you know? Like, that's not how relationships go. Um, you have to go through some hardships sometimes, and you have to be able to communicate your issues and, understand your try your best to understand theirs and i know it's cliche to say but like communication is key if you guys aren't communicating and keeping like um like your hearts both on each other's sleeves you know for each other then it's probably not gonna work you know so yeah, sure. what was i gonna say did you say hi to the chat i forgot it, it's yeah let's do it let's do it there's like so many so much so many awesome people in the chat and, and does right? Look like this. There's like writing on top of mine. Oh, over your screen. Mm -hmm. Eh? What? Does yours look like that? No, not at all. That's crazy. So you like Maybe it's because your phone. Oh, wait. Are you on your computer? Uh, I'm on my tablet and then I'm on my phone. So on your tablet, on your tablet, um, are the comments on the side? You're in the show. I, I'm not, I can't even see my comments, to be honest. That's why I got at my phone. So I oh. said hi to anybody. I haven't been able to see anybody pop up to, for me. Sorry about yeah. that. No, no, no. Okay, no, well, okay. here. Let's read them. Let's read them. I'll bring them up on the screen here. So you should hopefully be able to see them up here. I, hopefully they're still here. I know. Fire yeah. Fly. I know. We have, we have six viewers right now. So oh, okay. some of them are here. Um, we have Vivi Vault. Wow. F.A. Marquez. I know. Okay. Is it Marquez? I've been saying this. Marquez. I've said it like three different ways, and I'm like, I'm butchering his name. I know no, it. No, no, no. It, it's Marquez. You know. I, okay. From my dad's side, uh, Marquez. Uh, I'm Marquez. Are you Italian? No, uh, we're, we're Hispanic, but we have no relations okay. to the cheese company. Different. Uh, they come from money too. My my dad comes from money too, but it's different families. Different. Okay. And uh, and I'm not you know milking that cheese <laughs> money. Milking that cheese. I'm not getting. <laughs> No. Well, I thought, okay, sorry. I want to bring it back to you saying you're a plumber because with your mustache, you kind of look Italian. And like I was Mario. like, bro, you're literally Mario. Yeah. <laughs> and the mess, I was, that's another reason why I was going to keep my mask on because I, I had actually messed it up. Like when I was shaving, that's another reason why I wanted to keep my mask on because. Oh, I'm you so can't tell on the camera. Looks good no. to me. Doesn't look like you have a patch or like a lopsided mustache. Oh my God. <laughs> I was hella, uh, I'm super self-conscious. That's why I'm not even looking at the screen. You're like, <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> but, it but takes yeah. a while to get used to the camera. Like at first I was like, man, I look so bad from this angle and this angle. Like I have to just like look straight the whole video. And I'm like, I'm not going to do that. It's not a <laughs> modeling competition. We're not here to like, Ooh, I'm better looking than Daniel. What do you guys think? You know, like we're here to have fun and like get to know each other. It's not about looks, so don't even worry about it. Your mustache looks great. Looks Thank like you've combed you. it and everything. It looks great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's say hi to the, the chat for sure. So we got yeah. Vivi Ball in here. We have Firefly Odyssey. Nice. What's yeah. up? I don't feel like I've ever seen Firefly. Hi, Firefly. Thanks uh, for joining this the, drinking. The, oh, yeah, there's a lot of people that I always like say hi to at the very least. Like a lot of these OGs, like Kobe's another one. He's like one of the OGs, OGs too, you know, me saying hi to them before the stream started. I didn't even ask you, when did you join your VV journey? Like when was your starting date? Uh, originally, I, I, I actually started before my actual date says. So I actually had started but lost that account and started fresh. And w when I actually like focus, focus, like put in an account and grab my wife and put her here, it, I believe it says... November 1st or November okay. 3rd. That's what that account will say. But I was already like like a couple months in like before that. But since the, the, the account wasn't that profitable, like the money wasn't like it, I had these uh, okay money in. I, yeah. I was like, it's like whatever. It's not that big of a deal with my luck, the type of stuff that I'm always used to. Whatever. Let's let it go. And I had put the wrong date purpose. The wrong date purpose. 
I had like put like um uh, like wrong information, like, not wrong information, but oh, I'm echoing a little bit. Uh, I, I had put like a little bit different information on purpose, you know, thinking that I could be sneaky in case my my ex wife ever, in case I ever became successful with these NFTs. That's how my mentality was. I was trying to be extra sneaky, so I was putting you know misinformation, and I it, like completely like wrote a crazy password that I never ever use and I wrote it down and I lost it. So I just let that account go and I started fresh with my wife and my wife and I both, I think have the, the, the same date, if I'm not mistaken, or she has a couple of days or one or two days late after me, uh, mm -hmm. but more like more serious into BB. And then that's how I came, found a lot of these. Books. That's how I found Wendy. Wendy was like the very first person that I subscribed when, to. Like when Supergirl Wendy? When Supergirl okay. Wendy, BB Vault um let's see it was when supergirl vv vault uh vv vision kyle wilson back then was crypto chris but he changed his name to chris coffee uh let me remember oh randy travis you can't oh chris coffee dude yeah, he's been yeah, around yeah. for a long time yeah. i never heard of him until vv vault introduced me to him like in this creator chat that he started and that kid is hilarious. That guy makes me laugh my freaking butt off. He is so funny. He's funny and smart. He is yeah. very smart. Uh, when it comes to certain things, like if I want to look up certain information, Randy Travis is is for like Randy Kyle Wilson and then Chris Coffee. Like like for certain analysis, like like for like Omi and stuff like that. Those three are, are like are like always my go to. Like there's more. Like there used to be like Mark Hughes. I think that was his name. Sodi Pop had like I, I I like like subscribed to Sodi Pop. I don't know if I'm still subscribed to him because I had so many that I had to unsubscribe that that weren't so active. But Sodi yeah. Pop like, would have like two viewers. I, I would feel bad for him, so I would always like jump in his stream. Remember I told you I would have like different streams when I used to be in the vault, like the BB Vault stream. Like I would have yeah. like 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 be there, and then whenever Wendy would pop up, like I would always love going to Wendy, you know. And, and, and then whenever like drama would happen within like the the creators, I would like do my mm -hmm. hardest to stay out of it and break my heart each time but you know it was hard you know and i would always support all of them you know try to try try to like i like, mean out of all the people that are in this community there's bound to be some kind of like clashing a little bit you know like all of us are different people and walk different lives so to to an extent will we get along yes but are we going to be best buds and all be like homies for life no that's just it's not realistic to expect that yeah and, and then and we and have then, university too. Hi, hey, Dick, yeah. That's another one that that, that I started like, and she's she she came more like as far as like being known, even though she has experience. Like there there there's you know other creators that came along like like BB Vibes. Uh, what was his name? Oh, yeah. D you you know like you know creators go to I I I I like started supporting like my collectibles. Sure. I miss BB Vision. I don't know. They just like. Got oh. busy with school, with college. With, I'm hoping. I don't know what happened yeah, with them. That, that's, that's what I'm thinking. And then can't forget non fungible. You know the funny thing is about like non fungible. Uh, like the, the homie, believe yeah. it or not, was the very first person that came up on YouTube. But because he grabbed a pineapple, like that, he was like playing around. I thought he was like trying to like like troll Vivi. So I actually completely dismissed him. So for the like, even though he was the very first, like I completely d dismissed him. And it wasn't until like like a couple like I was a little bit more into Vivi that oh yeah no he he's legit. He really supports Vivi. He's he, like that's his thing, you know. So it's kind of like I have my rockets. That's that's his thing. The, the pineapple is his thing. So I was like oh okay. That's <laughs> So I would always support him, you know, sometimes I would be embarrassed because, I, you know, you know how it is. So I wouldn't like comment, and, and, you know, and I, I would always hit the thumbs up. But believe it or not, before I would actually just put comment and my three rockets, I would never say words. I would never comment. And that was my comment because they would still help the algorithm. So I would always make sure to put my comment and three rockets. And then uh, eventually I started adding like little emojis. And it's all thanks to Random Hero. I don't know if a Random Hero is, is here or not, but Random Ooh, Hero was. I <laughs> love Random Hero, though. Yeah. Random hero and, and and uh some girl Brittany, she's not here. She had to take a little you know break. She's another yeah. awesome member. But yeah, uh, I know her from my, Kobe Streams. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Last lunch, yeah, them two were like like some of the first that brought me out of my shelf, like or my shell, I should say. Like they would like say like hi Daniel or like you know, like they would like like try to engage me into like come, you know, like you know, just in, in the streams yeah. being super, super nice. You know, super support. You know, they would see me. Kobe's Kobe's one of the first content creators that I ever started watching. Once we like got into like the VV world, I we found Kobe 
um, Vivi Vault and Vivi Vision. And those were the three that we were like consistently watching. And then sometimes, you know, we would bring up other people like um, Cavell. <laughs> but like when you first started, you didn't know that Cavell was like the OGs of the OGs or whatever. Mm-hmm. So like we mm-hmm. were just watching the people that like kept us entertained. And yeah, Kobe, the reason why I've stuck with Kobe ever since is because like his mods and him just like have their own dojo. I love that he calls it the dojo because. Okay. Yeah. They they welcome everybody with open arms and like mm-hmm. it's such a cool community to be like yes. a part of and I'm really glad that I found it, you know. So they're yeah. super cool. It really Doctor is. Strange is here. I John know. Do- <laughs> Yeah, I, I subscribe to Doctor actually. He he's very knowledgeable, like comic book wise. Yeah. Like, yeah. Another one that, that that is another OG right there. That is yeah, this- I actually never oh. heard of him until I, like v- I said, Vivi Vol- v- 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 Vol- yeah. introduced me to him too. And he actually came and played bingo with me the other weekend when I had my mm-hmm. bingo night. And he won three comics, came out here like freaking yeah. powerhouse. And yeah, I and so yeah, I started yeah. watching his channel more now. I know that he's like super huge into comics. And yeah, he's so knowledgeable. It's like crazy that you sleep on these people and then you start actually watching their channel and you're like, why was I sleeping on this? <laughs> Like yeah. what was I doing? <laughs> no, yeah, but uh, yeah. Well, I the think... palace is good too. I like the palace oh, yeah, too. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Easy? Yeah, I. I you I, have I, everybody here supporting I, you. I, Look I, at I, this. I actually, from time to time, I I hop on their stream. They they have like late night streams. That they'll, they'll play video games. It's just like super chill vibes, you know. Just, just you know, super chill, like like straight up like <laughs> chill. Like nothing's. They talk about the market. They talk about sports. They talk about everything. But it's super relaxing. Nothing too too extreme. Nothing too too serious. Yeah. It's always a very relaxed vibe. You know, just a little bit of uh, you know a, a little bit of a four twenty ish stuff. You know, going on. <laughs> yeah. Did uh, you read this? No, no. What does it say? It says, "Wow, that's tight. I didn't know that. We need or we need to run some BL one zombie ee. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's foreign language to me. And then he says, wow. "We." We were the same community. Laugh my ass off. That's crazy. By chance, you remember? Um, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Uh, Dirk. 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 Oh, Mike. Oh uh, yeah. Mike the rookie. <laughs> <laughs> That's was, funny. No, no, but BZ is actually another one. He's another one of the OGs. He actually, what used to be like in every single stream that I would hop in, he was there. He was always there too. BZ has been around. But back then also, I, I, I don't know if, if it happened on his side or my side. Because I tried looking on YouTube. I tried, I even Googled it. I tried to figure out how to figure out if he blocked somebody by accident. But I haven't been able to enter. And, and we've been trying to figure out. Uh, how it happened but unless i'm a mod in a specific channel or vice versa like we can't interact like he won't be able to see my posts my comments or or vice versa like it's some, something weird happened but but yeah bc has been one of the ogs too like he would actually be on on, on vb vision from time to time he would hop hop in with the boys but uh but bc is actually pretty smart too he's a pretty smart smart guy you know he, he's very chill he wouldn't think of it you know because he's so oh he's making funny jokes and stuff he's so relaxed mm-hmm. One of the the OGs that that I that I look up to actually he he so <laughs> yeah. that's awesome. But, but there's there's like so many so many OGs like the like, palace is saying that you're the cutest moderator they have. Me? Yeah, you or, or you? Oh, I no, you. Know. <laughs> They're definitely saying you. Oh my! Uh, I don't time. know. I'm not a moderator I, on their channel. I, oh, I've never been called. <laughs> I've always been told I'm. I, <laughs> Love it, but untouchable was, flex. Nice booth. Uh, shout out booth right there. That that's one of the mods from. I always from, hear booth uh, in the um mm-hmm. Twitter Spaces, right? He's always yeah, talking yeah, yeah. in the spaces. Yeah, what's booth up, booth? Is, but booth is super. <laughs> yeah, booth is one of the mods in the palace. Yeah, yeah. He, was, now you're a baddie. You're not just a cutie. You're a baddie. Daniel sounds a baddie. <laughs> Ooh, he a baddie though. <laughs> My wife. And they're getting jealous. <laughs> hey, look, when Supergirl, here she is. Yeah, when when was hosting Women of of Vivi when I first jumped in, and that's how I was like, okay, like I I, I knew for a fact, like right then and there, she was serious, she was knowledgeable, and there was mm-hmm. like like Lori was on there, Kika Vivi was on there, which is another uh, OG, and and there was one more person I can't remember. I think it was an artist, but they, they were serious people, and they were talking, and they and they were just expressing themselves how how at the moment like they felt like they didn't have like like you know like like a, a like a, a safe place even though like like it says keep like like 
women of Vivi, like when men are still like allowed to come in, which is how I came in, you know, like, but I was still kind of shy. And, and they were just talking about how they felt, you know, like, like, like th that space at the time was perfect for, for everybody to come in, but especially women. And I started like, like agreeing with them, like, oh yeah, that's so true. And then they started talking about NFTs and Vivi talking. I'm like, oh yeah, they know what they're talking about, like for sure. And then that's how I subscribed to them or to her, I should say to, to Wendy, but she like wouldn't post too many videos, like, you know, that like often back then I, and still she doesn't you know she not, not 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 as often like she's an awesome creator but you know she's super busy so but some of the other boys like bb vision or you know they would always come on so i i ended up you know i i kept searching for other creators and then that's how i ended up finding you know other awesome 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 og creators that that are no longer here as well but kyle wilson the the founder of the red o Shout out to Kyle Wiss. Okay, Wilson, he and the Gale, I used to watch a lot back then. Well, but, I like the Gale too. I had an interview with him too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the Gale's super awesome. I actually have won a couple of, of HRO cards watching the Gale, you know. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's super generous. Sometimes he'll just be talking and he'll like pull out a cart for you to scan and first come first serve, you know, without. Yeah. You know. When I found his channel, that's when he was, that was before Hero was in play. And he was um, always doing the pr price prediction videos. And those are the price prediction videos I would always watch because they're just so like short and sweet. You know, he's like, here's a five minute video of why, like, here's the rundown of the medium and what I think and why I'm either going to go for it or not. And I liked it. It was just short, sweet, quick. It was nice. Well, well, that's why I, I, and I actually forgot because you said that I now remember Vivian 3. That's how I actually ended up finding Vivian 3. And then before oh, yeah. Vivian 3. I used to think it was Vivian three, but it turned out it was somebody else. I, I forgot his name now. I think it's like Boof. It bear. I, I follow him on, on Twitter, but he doesn't make that many videos any, anymore. He would come on with the emoji of a little teddy bear, and as he would speak, just like the iPhone, you know, the, the teddy bear talks, and he the, the teddy bear was the person talking, giving the price predictions, and it oh, would yeah. be one minute long, two minutes long, never like yeah. five minutes. So, so like when I found Vivian three afterwards, I thought it was the same person just finally showing his face because it had like some almost. <laughs> vibe and then when yeah. i find a different person i'm like oh yeah i thought you were vivian three and he's like oh blah blah, blah. but he was super cool about it <laughs> that's but funny he's like didn't you know i'm a bear how could i be vivian three type of thing but, but that's yeah. funny but i, I love that <laughs> for those reasons you know everybody everybody that i would follow had a, a reason why i would follow that specific creator on top yeah. of all tv supporting you know our awesome community but uh, back then you know i was still kind of newish you know i, I like yeah. Like I didn't have like social media. So, so for me, like following these guys was my way of also keeping up with the news as well. You know, learning, you know, uh, I, I just, I wanted to remain in the shadows. I wanted to keep like, you know, little mm -hmm. of my data, you know, of my metadata. Out there. You know, for you sure. <laughs> so, I, so it wasn't until I ventured out because of, but you know, you know, don't get me wrong. You know, my wife has, you know, my wife has everything. It's just not me. I, I just personally did not, or you know, don't until yeah. I, enough. Now I have Twitter, but I, I just wanted to remain in the shadows. I didn't want my my ex wife to know my business. I didn't want my ex friends to know my business. I didn't want nobody. If I'm going to be successful in the, you know, in the NFT yeah. space, you know, like I don't want people to come up, you know, all of a sudden now because I'm being successful, you know, like I like the the people that still communicate with yeah. me. Like if they're they're rocking with me and I happen to be successful one day and I happen to bless them because you know that's how I'm 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 setting my mentality that way. Like if one day I'm going to be able to to bless people, I'm going to, you know, and and I just don't want to bless the people that are all of a sudden you know like seeking not necessarily handouts, but like yeah yeah yeah. Why, why weren't you here when when I didn't have it? Like you know. Yeah, for sure. There was there was a time you know there was a period of, you know in my life where I actually was in a, in a position where I was okay and I had all these friends and, and relatives yeah. I, I had a cousin that was super close with me and as soon as i lost everything like so did everybody you know everybody took off you know and, and just it, it shows you you know when you have stuff like and when you don't have stuff it, it tells you you know when you don't have stuff and you have people around you it, it shows you who your real friends are and, and yeah now i'm learning from sure. all these experiences all these people all these <laughs> awesome awesome ogs these people are so, so awesome like i there's nobody else like Vivi. Like, there's nobody else like the community. I, I actually follow the community more than David Yu, than yeah. Dan, his name, uh, than Alex G. Who else? Reed. Same. But, like, I follow them. Like, technically, I think I might follow, like, have them on Twitter. But I'm not, like, like every single tweet, like, every single move. Like, if they say something. I'm not going to lie. I do have David um, Beld or whatever. So, every time he tweets, it, like, gives me a notification. 
Mm. Um, but I don't do that for anybody else. Um, as far as the team goes, because I don't know, I don't know how I feel about Alex. I think he's just like, I don't know. He he's Vivi's hype man. I feel like he like overhype stuff and then kind of like I'm not gonna say he lies, but he <laughs> words things in a way where people get the wrong impression and then they go for something and then he like he's like will, a lawyer. He'll twist it again and be like, I didn't say this, I said this. And it's like, yeah, but it came off as this because of the way you said it. So I don't know. He kind of just seems like a trickster. And I don't like when people are trying to like trick the community. It's like, help the community. Don't trick us, you know? So I don't know. <laughs> but It's like, like a lawyer, basically. He, he knows how to lawyer his words. He knows how to say something for sure. where it's going to come off however he wants it to come off. And in his defense, he could defend himself with those exact same words because it's not. Exactly. It's yeah. It's, it's context. So He's Maybe a, I'm mad because he's so people. smart. Who knows? But <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I mean, these are all smart people, you know. And, and, and the content creators, I feel like, like they are. If if they say something of importance, the content creators are going to decipher it, and then they're going to break it down, and they're going to explain it to everybody, and they're going to share it with everybody, and then we're going to find out, you know, what that news yeah. is. If what if we need to take action, what we need to do, blah blah blah. So that's why I actually like follow the content creators a lot because a lot of the content creators like. We'll say it how it is too. Like, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of Moon Boys, which is like I'm still subscribed to, but I just don't like like make you know like I don't follow every single time. I know. always I always do my own research. I don't listen to people for what I should pick up or I think I should go for this drop because Vault told me to. Like Vault goes for every drop, so <laughs> I out, mean, Vault. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out Vault. Dude. Not hating, but like everybody yeah. has their own risk tolerance. Like Kobe's always preaching. Everybody has their own risk tolerance. Everybody has their own bag. Like, you know, you can't be like trying to keep up with whales when you work paycheck to live paycheck to paycheck, you know? So yeah. you have to know your own lane and your own um, with strengths and play off of that. So none of us really all have like the same story. So trying to like replicate what someone else is doing is like, you're almost setting yourself up to fail. So don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, because like what I would say, if you're coming on like new to BB, which the people here are, are not, they're, they're OGs already, uh, is like just start off with what you feel comfortable. You know, don't yeah. come with expectations that you're going to be rich. You know, like think of it as a, you know, like everybody always wants that overnight rich, get rich scheme. You know, they yeah. always want the, oh, I bought this and now I'm rich. Yeah. We're, we have the Amazon generation going on of instant gratification, you know? Having having a package delivered overnight so I can have it tomorrow or having the accessibility of um, Internet on my phone. I can just Google a question or where to go or whatever right here and now. So everybody's just so used to that instant gratification. And that's what they want when they get into projects like this. And that's just not really how it works. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, well, I have a question for you, Daniel. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Ask away. I wonder I wonder like after hearing your whole um, um, experience with like OpenSea and how all your stuff got stolen and everything, does that, does that kind of make you hope that VV doesn't allow interoperability or how do you feel about that? Since like right now we're secure, you don't have to worry about anybody like getting your stuff, but if we become interoperable, does it open up the doors to scamming and like hacking like open c i think that as long as uh we have it within the vv ec ecosystem i think that vv should still help us and protect us but as soon as we take it out then it's kind of like our responsibility it's kind of like when we have something in a storage you know we're taking it to that storage and every place will have you know different policies some some places you have to pay for it some places they're not responsible at all blah blah yeah. blah you know, it, it's your or the store, you know, once you purchase something, it's your responsibility to take care of it, you know, to make sure that, you know, you don't break it, you don't lose it, it doesn't get stolen, blah, yeah. blah, blah. So as long as we, even though it's being interoperable or whatever, as long as we have it within the, the VB ecosystem, the VB verse, whether we bring something in or, you know, we're choosing to leave it in there, like, I think, like, it should still be okay. And I think maybe VB should still help us out and make sure that it still stays safe. And yeah. for sure it and especially if we're doing like legitimate trades like once we are allowed to do transfers and trades within the ecosystem like yeah. I think 
still like honor like those you know those trades and i think they should come up with implement like some type of like thing like you go like like say you and i like want to trade something you and i both go to this room and you and i both come up with with like the things that we want to trade almost like hro like i yeah. want to trade I've literally said this exact like comparison before. Like we just need a trading system. I'm not the one that like wants to cut VV out and like do deals with people like on messenger and be like, Hey, you just PayPal me the 80 and I'll send you this. Like, I'm not trying to do transfers and like cut VV out of the deal and out of the picture. That's not what I want to do. I want them to profit and like Excel as well without profit. How well is VV going to do, you know? So I don't mind having to pay a percentage or, you know, the fees still to transfer as if I sold it. But yeah, we need the we need the trading. We need it because I want to be able to send stuff and do stuff with people. So eventually they say it's going to come, but I just don't know, you know, when. <laughs> to be honest, I think it's more than just keeping the bots away. I think right now for the moment, I think, and it's going to sound wrong. I think it sounds more like I'm talking more sh like, like shit, Buddy, but, a little bit, whatever. But I, but I think that, I think that little percentage, whether it's 2.5, 8.5 is making a difference right now. And they rather have that within, you know, BB have that percentage go to them versus mm -hmm. you and I trading, then there's no fee. If you yeah. and I were to trade, there's literally no fee. And before they stopped the trades, I actually remember going onto the VB feed and saying this, like, who wants to trade me this for this? I don't want to sell it because I don't want to give VB no more fees, you know, any of my fee money, you know, saying it. And, and shortly after, like, literally, like, like a week later, they announced, oh, yeah, there's not going to be no more transfers. Uh, this is a way to combat bots, blah, 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 blah. And, and, yeah. Yeah. and, and it happened. And if you were to say, oh, well, bring, you know, why are you, you know, taking away transfers? People would be like, oh, why are you a botter? You know, <laughs> it's like you couldn't even yeah. voice your word back then, like any little thing would, would, would be taken the wrong way or out of context. And, and That's still today, these days, too. I, know, I listen to a lot of spaces, and, like, the way they're saying it is, like, sounding upset, so it sounds like fudding, but <laughs> if you actually hear them out and you listen to what they're saying, they were just burned, you know, and they are upset about it, and they wanted to come bring it to the community to let them know, like, hey, yo, like, I... I put up a Spider-Man because I for 200 because I thought he was worth that much and someone bought it and I just got banned from VV because they're saying I'm a bot trying to transfer, you know? So yeah. it's not like a lot of people are always going to take like any kind of like criticism or like um, shit talking as FUD, but we all have to realize that Vivi's not perfect. It's a newer project and we're early. So we're going to feel the growing pains of this early project. And they're also trying to still figure out what's the best for everybody. They're going to have differences. Like, am I upset that they did a miles drop, a huge character and only gave 3000? Yeah, a little bit. I feel like they still could have gave us 5k, 10k, and it would have been a very successful drop still. And more people would have been able to get it. But they're trying to test the waters to see how this market's going to flow. So you can't really be like, I mean, like, obviously, we all have our opinions. But yeah, people always take things as fudding when you're just trying to, like, give your opinion. So you could always just tell me, even if it's something negative, like, yeah, Vivi's not all peaches and rainbows as well. Like, we have problems with it. And unless we talk about it and address it, nothing's going to change. So. Excellent. I agree with that. So I, right now, as you were speaking, I was looking for this picture. I was going to say, yeah, I just take the foot and I eat it. Let's yeah. See. What is it? it it's cheese. It's it, it's cheese. A, it, 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 it's it's nice. also, like some type of Mexican cheese. Eat the foot. Eat the foot. <laughs> I know. Don't spread it. I only spread it on my food and I eat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love that. That's so funny. <laughs> no, I know. That, that, that's. Yeah. No, oh, but it, it, it's just, you know, it's one of those things. So, yeah, I really do hope they bring back uh, transfers quickly. You know, it's going right. to help people, you know. Uh, I hope they're able to figure out something with the drop system, like you said. You know, certain mm -hmm. characters, you know, I, I get it. You know, the, the respect, you know, the, and they wanted to make sure it was going to be a successful drop, not like this last one, you know, that we just yeah. had years ago. Which well, I was like, look, even Daredevil, for example. Daredevil, well, 
one of the reasons why I feel like he did bad is because of the stance he, they put him in, and they only gave us one. But I don't know. Yeah, like they're even big characters are going under like Silver Surfer and like uh, Mysterio. It's crazy, right? So I don't know. They're they probably just are playing the scarcity game now. First, it was like how many poses, and now they're like, okay, well. We figured out that like five is too many, so we won't do five um, variants anymore. You know, we'll c try to like limit that, and then that still didn't really like turn it around as far as like right after drop. So they're like, all right, well, let's try scarcity, and obviously scarcity works because look at Miles; all three of them are way above retail. So, but but the same thing with ASF fifteen. It's it's also I think it has to do with IP, for sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I have no idea how they come up with, with these. Right. I don't know. They with have the some number. kind of mark. Like, they have some kind of charts that they can, like, scale this out. And they're like, let's try this next to see how that goes. And, like, it's kind of like they're just playing it out to see how it's going to go. So that's the, <laughs> kind of the problem. That's kind of the thing of, like, when you're early into something, you have to kind of take things with a grain of salt. I mean, Vivi could obviously have, like, all these amazing visions, but when you're actually trying to take it off paper and bring it into reality, it they run into lots of issues and problems. And that's why, like, when a lot of people were fighting about, well, not fighting, again, but, like, <laughs> complaining, complaining yeah. about um, not having cash out and, like, how they've postponed it, like, four times until we finally got it or whatever like yeah it was harder than they expected it to be so vd stop giving timelines and then maybe people won't be as upset but at the same time some people like if you're anything like my mom if you don't have like a time frame or something then that makes you even more nervous and scared because it's like well there it's obviously not a priority because you're not giving me a date you're not trying to like make it you know right now so there's always so many things to come into play no matter what vv does at the end of the day not a hundred percent of its users are going to be happy because Never. that's impossible you can't please everybody so yeah, they're just it, trying to figure out the balance of how to please majority so and stay successful because at the end yeah, of the day and, they, they and still stay are above. They, they, they still <laughs> are so they need to like make you know th their money and you know and stay yeah. afloat and make sure that Goes, goes to, to keeping the their IPs happy. I mean, mm -hmm. if Disney started dropping a bunch of stuff and everything started going down to like $3, how do you think Disney's going to look at that? They're not going to be very happy with Vivi, right? So, uh, uh, yeah, you got to keep your IPs happy too. <laughs> I, uh, speaking of Disney, are you going to go to the, or you're, you're, you're too far, huh? I was going to ask you, are you going to the decon? Oh, there was a chance that we were going to go, but I literally looked at the wrong month. I, lo You're telling I, me no. <laughs> I looked at December when it's in November. No, no, but check this out. I, I thought it was, I was looking at November, but I was looking at the days for, for, uh, <laughs> for December. So instead of being on the month of oh. November, looking at de December, I'm like, oh yeah, this is going to work. I was telling my wife, I'm like, yeah, we, we can go, we can make it, blah, blah, blah. And then when she checked, she's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I can't. And, and she literally just had surgery not too long ago. She literally just went back yeah. to literally like like a week ago maybe two uh she had gallbladder surgery so so literally she she literally just went back to work so she's like now i can't take no no more time off i won't be able to go so it's like yeah. most, most likely not she's telling me playing around joking that i could probably go by myself and stuff but uh, i don't know if i want to but going but, by yourself is like i want to uh, enjoy it with you though that's how i felt with austin too because i obviously what one less plane ticket one less like about everything like yeah of course that makes it more affordable for me to go but i don't <laughs> want to go if my man can't go with me <laughs> yeah so, 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 I are, feel like... so are you gonna go or no i'm going yeah we're going, oh, going are you gonna go all every single day or, yeah or... well i mean if i'm flying up to cali it's i have to make it a trip you know <laughs> yeah, right. well i'll make it count are you guys yeah. gonna go land or anything or just straight to to like uh that's what, um, after this stream, we're actually going to sit down and, like, plan it all out. Because at first, we were planning to, like, do a road trip with his boss. Um, we got him, like, pretty much, like, heavily into Vivi as well. Oh, and nice. um, 
So his boss wanted to go, but his aunt just passed away recently and he's taking care of like her will and like all that kind of stuff. And so of course you have all the family members blowing him up and like, where's my money and all that stuff. So um, he's trying to figure that out now and he doesn't know if he's going to be able to make it like trying to figure all that out. So we were waiting for him, but now it's getting kind of close and I'm scared that plane tickets are just going to skyrocket and we won't be able to go if he decides that he can't. So tonight we're just going to sit down and look at the cost of everything and plan it out on our own. Cause I was just looking at plane tickets yesterday and I know that we can get there and like, um, get to the event and like everything like that. Um, but yeah, extra stuff as far as Disneyland and everything, we're going to have to plan to see if we have the money for that. Cause I almost rather spend more money on like art and like, physical stuff from decon for like you know all my collection nice then like to go to disneyland so it just depends really so we'll see yeah i mean don't get me wrong disneyland is awesome awesome experience you know yeah. but like you said if, if you're gonna spend money it's kind of like me venturing out instead of having to spend <laughs> on other stuff like i should just spend it on on the platform where where you know where my heart is at you know or art sure. where you're gonna be yeah. able to be there with the artist see the artist and, and actually handpick your art Impossible. I'm kind of hoping that like Sket One is there. They still haven't said like who's gonna be there. I'm really hoping that Sket One is there because he has these like little alien dudes that I want. I've even said like, can we get mm -hmm. these on VV? And I tweeted it, and apparently they're on Recur. Boo, they're on Recur. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm like, can we still get them on VV? It won't be FA, but I bet you they'll be better. <laughs> for real, um, <laughs> for real, right? But uh, I want one of those physicals if I can get one because they're super cool. Um, let me see if I can pull up a picture, but yeah, there's a couple artists and then I don't know. Bam cat is really good artist too. So I don't know if she's going to be there, but I would love to see more of her art and maybe get a couple prints from her too. If she's there. So we'll see who's there. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. that like we're a, a month away from the event and they still haven't like let us know exactly what days I had to ask B BZ. B uh, Brandon Z is the one who, who told me. Okay. All the exact days uh, when it's going to happen on the stream when I was on their, uh, with the palace uh, the other night on their yeah. late, late stream. I asked them uh, when, when it was going to know it. and BZ, you know, he's always, uh, you know, another OG. He's one of the OG OGs. <laughs> he's always up on the news. So yeah. I was, luckily I got the round down, but it was so late. My eyes were super blurry. I have no. like really, really bad eyes. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I, I was looking at the wrong month. I'm like, this is going to work. I'm like super excited. Uh, I'm like, at the very least, even if I am able, I'll go to the last days, the last two days I can go. Like, I was like, so, so, Do you so live far from Anaheim? Mm, yes and no. Not compared to you. You're going to be like, oh, what is you complaining about? I live like five no, or six. No, no, no. I'm not. I was just saying because like. Yeah. I mean, no. even if I had to, if you like live nearby, like we could just swoop you up for no, one day or something. No, thank you. That, that, that's so thoughtful. Come on, I'll put you in a wheelchair. You don't even have to worry about your back hurting. I, I, I have an electric one. Uh, that, Perfect. That, yeah. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> you can hang out with us for the day. Uh, that's so awesome. See, and that, that's what I was looking <laughs> forward to. Be to be honest, I, I was looking like not even like I, I wasn't even planning on chasing down David U for because that's what a lot of people are planning on doing. Which there's nothing wrong, you know. Power to them. I hope they're able to do it. But they're they're trying to get one of those VV logos, which is going to be damn near. If you're going there with the expectation of getting one, like prepare to get your heart broken. Just go there with. The I'm not expecting it at all. I don't expect anything. Yeah, I, yeah. Of course, I'm really hoping. I'm hoping, yeah, yeah. like to God, that David sees like how big of a fan I am and like how I really will be here for at least 10, 20 years. You know, but I don't know. We'll see. You know, oh, okay. but. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I not expecting I, it, but yeah, if I, I get it, I'm going to lose my freaking mind. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, seriously. No, I know. I, I felt like going and just getting like like a picture with all of them because they're super, you know, you got to give them credit because without them, like we wouldn't have the app. So obviously 100%. Give, them, give them their respect, the, the, their credit, you know, you know, shake their hand, you know, or actually this because I don't think, you know, the pandemic we're able to shake hands and then take a picture and then have them sign like a T-shirt or something, you know, like and then that that would be my trophy. Like I, I don't have oh, to, yeah. like I don't have to have like, I, of course I want it. Uh, I would be lying if I if I'm if I would say I don't want one. Like heck yeah, I want one. I would want. I would love to have a logo. But if I were to like me, like, and when I said you, I didn't mean like you, you specifically. I mean like everybody. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I was just telling <laughs> you, like I was just letting you know. 
from my standpoint like of yeah. course i hope i'm really hoping for one but i'm not holding my breath till i'm blue that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> no facts but but yeah that, that would be super awesome how you, you're taking a picture and all of a sudden he's like oh here look at these oh those are super cool right i want one <laughs> Those are like Xbox remotes in the back, or, or what are the buttons? Because those are like the Xbox uh, buttons, aren't they? Oh yeah, on that one there, that is. It's like he is like a controller. It's like the. It says thirty six. I am retro. So I don't know. They all look different. He has like different ones. Like this one's all black. But yeah, I just think they're cool. Oh, they really are. I want one. <laughs> a those, physical. Those would be so dope on, on BB. Yeah. No. I, 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 I think there's going to be a way to find out even before they announce what, what collectibles, because they're starting to be a pattern, like, like certain things are starting to happen, like movies and shows are happening and then the drops are happening. So if you kind of start to like, like put pins and pins to where the drops are going and then you look at the, you know, like at the characters and at the stories, you can kind of look into the future to see what kind yeah. of might, might happen, you know, might, might be dropping, you know, possibilities, what IPs or whatnot, but yeah awesome it's super it's super crazy to imagine or even trying to guess what what's going to happen with, with these IPs. right with i know these. everybody's like saying like we we have nintendo but they're just trying to figure out what to drop first and i like to think you know that they don't want to drop like the most popular characters first because they want to kind of like announce like yeah we have nintendo but not give us like the full package yet so i'm thinking that they're going to drop kirby um mm -hmm. and like his friends or whatever um, just because like Kirby's big, but not like huge, you know? And I feel like that would be a good like opener, like, and then all of a sudden Vivi know like we have Nintendo and it makes us yeah. 10 times more bullish than we already are. And <laughs> all of that, you know, the hype. Yeah, um, did you know this, that Sky One's coming out with something at the end of the month? No, I did not. Me neither. Ronnie, See, tell us more. Ronnie, for, for real. See, and this is what I'm saying. Like, the you got if you're not in touch with the community, you like you never find out these things. Like, right? For you don't even know. And, this and is then Chanto, look at he brought up this. He brought it up. He brought it up, Daniel. Nice. The painting. Nice. <laughs> Daniel oh. wanted this painting, and I feel bad now after um, getting to know him. I feel so bad for right, taking it from him. <laughs> I was like, this is mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and this is how, because I, I didn't want to outbid you, like I said. And, and then every time somebody would outbid you, I would make sure to just put one penny over yours, just to like joke around. Like whenever you would put one twenty, I would put one twenty and one penny, just just <laughs> to joke around. But that was after you would get out. I know. Did you hear Vault or not Vault, but uh, uh, RK? He, like, he was. He pulled it. He seen yours, and he was like, "You can't do that." <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey, "You can't do that. You're crazy." That's why I, was, I was just laughing. <laughs> I was just really <laughs> having a blast. But when he was like doing the countdown with the 143, like I almost did, like came this close of putting in a bit, but I'm like, no, nah, I'm going I'm to leave it for her. I'm going to give it to her. And then plus, like I said, he said he wanted like payment right there, like right then and there, like Vimo. But I was just sent it to him then and there. I just didn't have his Venmo. He like did it in that screen. I don't see, I don't know if my phone's old or what, but. People like put the QR code here, like on the screen, and they're like, "Here's my Venmo." Well, if I'm watching you from my phone, I can't scan this with my screen. <laughs> like, how do you expect me to you do too. this? So, yeah, I just didn't have his information. I totally would have paid him right then and there. I just didn't have his Venmo. Now I do. Now, next time this happens, I'll be like, "I already sent you the money. Just give it to me." <laughs> yeah, seriously. So what what I do when stuff like that happens, if I'm able to, like, if I have the money, like, I'll, I'll just screenshot it. It, but I have devices. So, um, but if if I didn't, I would just screenshot it, like send send it to my tablet, my or whatever, and then yeah, take a picture or sc use the camera to scan the R, R code through the yeah. You know. But but lucky for you know, congratulations, really really nice. Thank you. Yeah yeah yeah. And then he said he you were gonna get like that plus one of his NFTs and possibly a little surprise. So that was even more tempting. And then I'm starting to get to the point where now I want to start collecting like all the stuff from all like all the creators, like even the people I follow, like even pe like like people like the OGs. Like I want to like collect their autograph. Oh, Can I pay you something? Heck yeah! Oh, well, didn't didn't I win like a like a like a uh, in Bingo Night? I think I won uh, one of the comic books, if I'm not mistaken. That you yeah. thought that somebody else had won it, and then it, but it turned out to be me. And then he was such a gentleman. And he's like, oh yeah, just make sure you give it to Daniel. But yeah, yeah. No, I don't have to. That was I, Daniel's son. No, I don't know the other no. Daniel. 
Yeah, Taylor, no, Dan, no, Daniel. No, 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 thank you. You're already sending me something. Thank you. You don't have to. I, a... I already sent it. It's on its oh, way. Oh, you did? Oh, shoot. Thank you. I dropped it all off yesterday at the uh, FedEx, but I showed up at like 6.30 and I had all those packages. I had more because I painted a couple people things and I sent out like uh, 12 packages, but it was later. So he told me that... Um, I have like a FedEx account. So he just took my account number and he said that they'll email me how much it will cost. Um, so I don't have any of the tracking yet, but you know what? I so, should have asked you to sign the cover. I'm such a, uh, I don't want to sign the cover. Who am I? No, I'm hey, nobody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I asked you to sign. No. Because I, I, I noticed that. You're a lot I, I noticed that a lot of hats had it, but when, when I first, or when he, cause he reached out to me, uh, sleeping comics, like he asked me if I wanted a hat and I, I told him, yes, but can you please sign it? And, and he did, he, but er everybody had signatures, but on mine is not that dark. Like you can barely see it. Oh, that's cool. I can see it. But, uh, but I, I, and I got like hat number 38 or yeah, 38, I believe. Nice. Like when I first saw the hats, like it, nobody had bought any, and I was thinking of getting number one, but then he said he was gonna keep number one, so I, it completely slipped my mind. So I let the the mints go up, and he reached yeah. out, and I he saw one of my comments on YouTube or on YouTube on uh, Twitter, and and so he DM me, he's like, hey, do you want one? And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. And then he's he's like, what mint do you want? Blah blah blah. And then I told him, but but I'm like, but can you please, sir, please sign it, even if it's just a scribble, like just make sure to to sign it. And, and yeah, but a lot of people got it. it. It wasn't just me. At first, I thought it was gonna be me, one of the few ones to have a signature. Uh, but See, but I don't want I don't want to sign your comic book that's Marvel. I feel like that <laughs> is for like the artist or like Marvel or like somebody that actually has to do with that book. Um, I don't want to like devalue devalue your book uh, with my signature. But if you want me to paint you something, I will gladly oh, sign that and send it your way. So. No way. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you don't have to. That would be so awesome. Cause like, like I'm saying, I'm going to like start my collection of like creators, like straight up like VB creators, like all the content creators, like all the, like the people that I follow. And it's going to be like my collection, you know, like, like, Hey, it may not be worth nothing. You know, well, but me, it's going to be plan on it, Daniel. I'm going to just yeah. send you a picture randomly and be like, look what I painted for you. And you're going to nah. be like, yeah. and I'm going to be like, yeah, what's your address? Oh, I already have your address. Maybe I'll just <laughs> randomly send it to you. <laughs> That'll even be better. Then you'll just oh, randomly no, get a package that, and you'll be like, why does this have Daniel Marquez with rockets? Is this uh, someone from BV? And then you're going to be like, oh, it's Kate Collections. <laughs> that thumbnail, speaking of rockets, that thumbnail, was that you that you made or was that your boyfriend? Who, who made that thumbnail with the rockets? Was that you? I made it. Yeah. That's so sick. I was That's on my lunch break and I was like, I have to do a thumbnail that shows like his whole rocket thing. And then I was like, obviously he says rocket. Well, not obviously. I actually don't really know. I want to ask you that. But I was like figuring that you do the rockets because we're on our way to the moon. And so that's why I did the little thumbnail. I was like, this yeah. I feel like Daniel will like this. <laughs> I, I almost wore an eye patch too. <laughs> <laughs> is that um your own like is that NFT supposed to be of you that yeah. you have for your yeah. YouTube? Let me see. Yeah. You commented in the beginning here. Let me see. This this yeah. little picture. Yeah, yeah, that that right there. That, that's me supposed to be. Who reading. drew that? Who is it? Who's NFTs uh, are those? Th those are uh, what's it called? I want one. Uh, no, but <laughs> we have a lot of VB punks, but I have a, like a ton of VB punks, but that's a crypto punk. Oh, crypto punk. Yeah, but no, uh, but no shout punk. Out, but VB <laughs> punk. Uh, VB punk. Ha have you seen him on Twitter? He's a, a, a like like he's like a like a homie from from uh from. Vivi, like he actually asked Alex G if it was okay for him to do it. Like, is oh. it okay for these NFTs, you know, for Vivi saying Vivi and stuff? And he's like, as long as you're not making them like to represent, make it seem like you're a part of Vivi or, or for Vivi or blah, 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 then, uh, then it should be okay. And, and I'm like, oh yeah, well, this is legit. He's, he's supporting, it's for the community. He's doing it for, for, for a good cause, trying to keep the community, you know, still, you know, somewhat together when all these, you know, what, butters when, and people come in yeah when the sentiment is this bad real you know, butters not just people complaining yeah <laughs> hey, zachary, hey. hey zachary zachary's here too what's, what's up? up yeah yeah no zachary's another OG. yeah yeah with the palace yeah group. i'm hoping uh, that i can get an interview set up with zachary and the rest of the palace soon yeah, the, the very, yeah <laughs> those are some smart boys right there zachary uh journey from the palace uh 
Gary, what's it called? BZ, obviously. You know, they're super intelligent. Sacri I just said sacri I'm they're... not even going to lie. I don't even know all their names. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're super intelligent. No, I love you, Zach, but I don't know your whole crew. And that's why I need you guys on my channel so I can chat with y'all. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. But yeah, I, I, I add them, you know, follow them on, on their channel. They're also on Discord. I'm not too active on Discord. I, I added them. Sometimes I delete my Discord because of the apps going on, on the drops, you know, that that's actually one of the techniques you're supposed to like delete, you know, certain apps to make sure that you have, you know, the, the best speed. And, and, and even when I do have Discord, because I'm not even that active on, like I have like this many, maybe like this many on Discord people that are like channels that I follow. Like I'm not even that active as it is. So, so, I, but they're still homies. So I, I added to make sure to support but you know, yeah. You know, look, you have another right? person that you'll have to support. Ronnie's gonna start doing content creating too, so yeah. he's gonna paint you something. Oh, so, right and on, he's right a great on. painter. And I need to make sure. I, yeah, no, I need to make sure because I because before it, it, you don't understand. It didn't matter if it was like a brand new creator or it had one you no know, one follower or ten thousand followers. Like I would follow them. I, like, I'm sure that you were one of my first subscribers because my first interview with. Randy, Randy, Chavez, um, you were definitely in the comments, so you had to be one of my first subscribers. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember Thank that. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> and yeah, and the local scalper is another one. Yeah, he, he from the Kobe crew. That's oh, yeah. I, yeah. Oh, the Rockets. He says, first uh, in the chat. Oh, first, first in chat gate. <laughs> <laughs> it's because, uh, for for the most part, it's mostly BB vaults. Uh, but a lot of the the channels when they <laughs> pop, like uh, like not always, but before I all like for the most part, like a lot of the times I was always on top. I was always like one of the like the first ones to be on on the top. Like especially for the yeah. vault, like I was always the first one every morning. Especially when we were at the all time highs and it was very competitive. People would like compete. We would compete <laughs> with each other to see who would be the first one. That and, and I and I don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but like I'm easily like top five. Like when I want to be like up there, I'm like, not bragging, but <laughs> I'm up there and, and then out Mark would always like try to be there, but he would always come in second. So there were times where I would purposely like, 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 let him be too. Late or, or, or pretend like <laughs> click on the wrong one because then you always give things like this. I let you have it, but did you though? No, <laughs> but did you? Know, did you know, if I did you know, win it, I let you know. So, so, so you know, we, we became a little competitive, but you mm -hmm. know, sometimes in other channels, I do it by accident. But it was mostly like BB Walt. But shout out, you know, Chambo is another. It's another like Chambo. I'll totally paint you something. Just DM me and let me know what you want me to paint you. If you come on my channel, I might be willing to send it to you for free if I think you're an amazing, genuine person, as our fellow Daniel here. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> but if you just want to pay me to paint something. Um, yeah, DM me what your idea is and I'll sketch you up some stuff and we could figure it out together. <laughs> Zach says, Zach Journey, oh, here's all the names. Okay, Zach Journey, Babs, Brendan Z, Frank, Izzy, Derek, or Dirk, Dirk, sorry. And then, well, Jerry has been basically MIA since June. <gasps> Sad face. Why? Why is he MIA? <laughs> or Probably personal reasons. Hopefully he's doing okay. Yes. That's all I care about. As long as he's mentally yeah. and well, or mentally and healthily well, then that's good. <laughs> Same thing like why I said with VV Vision. Yeah. Who knows what they're doing? If it's just because they're busy with school, good. Take a break from this. But hopefully y'all are just like, okay, you know? <laughs> hey, can I bring the baby? She wants to say hello. She's asking for a I would love to. I hey, love Ariel. children. Hold, hold on a second. Let me get her. Local scalper says, here, this guy is always supporting every channel. I know. That's why I had to have him on scalper. I was like, I feel like people are sleeping on him because I've never seen his face. <laughs> so he's definitely never been on YouTube. Um, and now that I'm doing interviews, I'm like, I slid into his DMs hi. and I'm like, you're going to do it with me, right? Oh, what's up, cutie? Hi. Hi. What's your name? It's Mary Sayo. Marquez. Oh, she said, my name is Ariel Marquez. She's Ariel. Yeah, Aw. Hi, Ariel. You're so cute. <laughs> what do you say? What's your favorite color? Is they mix black or blue or green? Blue yeah. or green? 
black, blue, or green, she said. Okay, you have a variety. Green used to be my favorite color, and then it changed to purple. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what's That's your name? A fun name. My name's Kyla. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh-huh. That is so precious. I love this. She looks a lot like you. You look like your daddy. Like Gary <laughs> she What'd she say? She said, what color is this? She's two years old. I had, a, I had her hair before. It's your she, favorite. Because she has such long hair, so sometimes her hair is super, like, long. Or, or oh, wild. yeah. So I told her in case she wants to come on, like, I make sure, like, her hair is kind of nice. Like, I know how to do, like, ponytails, like, basic, basic, basic okay. stuff. But it doesn't yeah. look nothing as nice as, like, when her mom does her hair. But, like I said, she's two. But it's a completely different experience from, like, when I raced the boys. They're know. black for her favorite oh, look color. At she changed it to black just because, for you babe <laughs> oh, thank you yeah because like i said it's like, yeah. like 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 where they were at completely different like they're at completely different levels like mm -hmm. uh, even, like now maybe like now they're probably at the same level but i feel like like even like the 14 like my second oldest the one that's the more severe autism i feel like they're they're at the same level because like she knows her abcs i'm not even so sure that he knows his abcs you know she knows her ABC. She knows how to count almost to 30. You know, she knows her nice. color. Her That's shape. Awesome. Yeah, so she knows her animals, her basic stuff. Do you just but, do, like, flashcards with her? Or you just, yeah, like, you know? Yeah, okay. yeah me and her mom. Nice. Her, her mom, you know, a lot. But, you know, me, I, I, especially when I have her a lot. Like, mm -hmm. like it, me, I'm always talking to her. Like, she's always <laughs> listening to, to the background, too. Because sometimes I'm not able to to have my headphones. So I'll, I'll have my, my phone, like, low, but still loud enough for her to hear so she'll hear like the stuff for the nfts so she sometimes gets to hear a lot of you guys <laughs> so she's gonna be an yeah. nft expert by the time <laughs> oh yeah she's gonna by, be by a little pro yeah <laughs> bb's gonna be begging her to join the team <laughs> you collect these that's so cool no what is that that's an amiibo for like the Nintendo Wii or Nintendo Switch. Huh. It, it used to be for the Nintendo Wii. Like you put it on and you're able to use the character. Like this what? is like a limited. No. The wedding. That's uh, so cool. We have Peach. We have like all the characters still in box. This is the only. I'm one obsessed that I with Mario. I know everybody's so excited to have Pokemon, but I can't wait for Mario. Like that's that's who I want. Oh my gosh! Yes, that's so cool. You have Doc Ock. Doc yeah. Ock. <laughs> Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario. <laughs> we, we have like a ton, a ton of stuff. Like we, have, well, my wife just recently got, not recently, maybe like a, like six Does Ariel ago. like Absolutely. superheroes and stuff? Yeah, she actually does. She, she likes superheroes. She knows some of the heroes. She knows like who the Hulk is, like who Captain Ooh. America is. Like she knows like all the basic, like, like the popular heroes. She knows. Do you ever watch the like um spider the the cartoon Spider Man with like Ghost Spider and Miles and all that on on Disney Junior? That's how, how yeah, she yeah, yeah. a lot of the the characters because of that cartoon. Yeah, so <laughs> exactly. Her all those characters. Are, oh, dang. that's she awesome. Did. Ghost Spider is my favorite. Ariel, she's oh, cool. Say, say, I like Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look. Give me one second. Just one okay. second. Look, she's gonna come back. She's gonna something for you, okay? Okay. Girl, everybody in the chat. Chambo, that sounds awesome. Creating video content. Yeah, Chambo, let me know. Anybody on the chat, as soon as you guys set up your channels, just post them, let me know, or on Twitter, put them on, on Twitter, and I'll make sure to follow you. Uh, for the most part, I follow like 99.999% of the people that follow me on Twitter. And especially if they're from like the, the Wii community, I make sure to follow you guys. So make sure, yeah, yeah, Chambo, I got you. If you start your channel, heck yeah. Oh, look at, oh, oh, that looks cool. Look at, Ghost Spider, that looks so awesome. Wow. You see her? Look at. It's so hard to breathe in that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I bet. It looks so cool. It, did she that, like it did it make her smile yeah she was smiling so big is that an authentic mask um it's my halloween mask that i got oh it nice. comes with my cosplay costume yeah all right on it looks so cool <laughs> thanks <laughs>
No, yeah, she she has a bunch of little costumes. Her mom is like straight, like spoiling her. She she already has like from like the movie Encanto. She has uh the the what's her name uh is uh Mirabella. With, oh yeah, yeah. The glasses. She has the dress. She has the little shoes. She. Uh, oh, I love that. She's gonna be on the cosplay when she's older. I love that. I love I it. Know. Literally, because she has so many costumes, I don't even know which one to choose from. Uh, she has like the cat boy from PJ Masks. She oh, has yeah. like she has like a whole bunch of stuff. Like literally, so many costumes. She has like the That's prince, awesome. like 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 from Frozen, from Beauty and the Beast. She has like so so much stuff. Like so so much stuff. She's a lucky little girl. Uh, <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I love it. And she's super spoiled. And then she, you know, she she, she loves her older brothers. Her older brothers are no longer into stuff like they're they're into video games, but they play with her a little bit here, here and there. Yeah. And then some of their their old stuff is still here, like their old toys. Like, but they're not that you know. The, they, believe it or not, they were like into plush toys. So we have a, a large large collection of like uh, build a bear. Uh, my wife is like semi obsessed with build a bear, so so she has no problem spending money on build a bear versus <laughs> NFT right now, you know. But she yeah. has. Collection. She has like the entire like Lion King collection. She has like the like from um, I can't believe I and I love them too. I can't believe I'm, I'm blinking now. From uh, Christmas. Uh, oh my gosh, Nightmare uh, Nightmare, Before, Nightmare Christmas. Before Christmas. There you go. Yeah, she has the entire <laughs> collection. We have a, a huge collection of Jack and Sally, like various. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. love Jack the Pumpkin King. I want <laughs> Vivi to have them. I was I just know. telling. I was. Who was I telling that to? Somebody in the community, I was like, if we get Jack the Pumpkin King for Christmas or Halloween, like that'll make my month. Like that's all I need is Jack. <laughs> Please. That's one, that's one drop for sure, one hundred percent. My my wife would be like, Jack. oh yeah, you can't miss it because there yeah. are times. And zero, I want Jack the dog too. Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Jack, go Jack, no. Okay. What sure. about a Jack Leonard? Look, I have a Jack Leonard. Uh See, he's holding it. Oh, look at the jack o' lantern! You see it? Yeah. Wow. See, that's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna be for Halloween this year, Ariel? Be. Oh. Are you gonna be a princess? No. A hero? No. Who are you gonna be? Um. Be. A witch. A witch. A witch. Okay. <laughs> Don't cast a spell on me, please. I'm a good guy. <laughs> okay. You're gonna be a witch. No. Are you gonna be a witch with a big nose? Uh, 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 monster witch. A monster witch, she says. A monster witch. She's Better. Into Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was gonna say you better turn uh, paint her skin green. <laughs> I know she's she's like recently getting into like Halloween stuff. Uh, she uh, we I, I let her watch sometimes the show called Steve and Maggie, educational, but it has like few episodes with Halloween's uh, with Halloween characters. So she, yeah, that show she like heavily got into like spooky stuff, skeleton, <laughs> jack o' lantern, witches, ghosts. That's cool. Et cetera, et cetera. But uh, that's the only reason why she's into stuff right now because. Of Do you guys take her trick or treating? Uh, yeah, we're going to. Uh, or, okay. or we're going. Uh, I don't know if 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 we're going to be able to because however, it, well, we're going to see how that pandemic. But we're planning on 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 doing it even if it's something small, maybe even to like the like the businesses or you know, yeah. you know, so, like how they do the like walks downtown or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like something. Cool. If we're able to, but we yeah, we already took her to the pumpkin patch. You know, she has her pumpkin. She already painted them. Uh, <laughs> That's cute. He, uh, yeah, we so took her jumping the other day uh, to uh, like an actual jumping place. Oh and yeah. Right afterwards, they had like a pumpkin patch right outside in the parking lot. So we just went from one place to the other. Uh, yeah. 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 She right right now she's she's in that phase, and then with my wife switching like her her time her hours. Like she, she has a couple of hours during the day before she goes to work. So sometimes we, we go do little things, you know, to, to spend a little bit of family time so we can concentrate, you know, before I get into the, my NFT mind. For you sure, know, for sure. Get into my mode, I'm, I'm in NFT mode. Unless Always you know, finding the balance. At mm -hmm. first it was probably rough. <gasps> your camera. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. Am I killing your, your camera? Here, hold on. Give me a second. Let me put the baby over here too, by the way. 
Did I lose you? Hold on. Hold on, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? Hold on. Everybody, here, come on. Here, come this way, baby. Hold, hold on, everyone. Okay, you're back. You're back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're fine. Oh, my gosh. This is how long I've been, like, chewing your ear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, we're good. Um, I use my boyfriend's phones for the streams because our Wi-Fi is super crappy. Okay. And, so, and my phone goes off Wi-Fi, but he has 5G, so I always use his phone. And it just died on me. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I'm like, hopefully he doesn't leave before I can come back and tell him what <laughs> No, no, not at all. No, I figure. No, I figure that that we've been, you know, that I've been chewing your ear or something long. Yeah, no, I, I actually charged my tablet. This has been. Awesome. No, I know it, it really has. Thank you. I know it's been awesome. It's been, you know, and I was actually embarrassed, you know, like because there's so many like awesome people in the community, and I, I was like, well, like not me, I'm nobody special. I'm literally like the least interesting person, least special person of the community. Like we have like all these like amazing members literally like literally right now in the chat look at chumbo like chumbo is another one you know like like we have like zachary like we have like all these look how important like, people you are in the community look how important you are all these people have <laughs> oh, no, the no. they support you and how they're here because they wanted to get to know the men that's always been rockets in their town i oh, appreciate you they guys all wanted, they all literally. wanted to know so i don't want to hear how you're not important that's nah. the reason started my channel is because of course the content creators they are the like amazing people and knowledgeable. like i'm not gonna sit here and say i'm a knowledgeable content creator it's not like i price predictions or look at little sticks or anything like that like, i started my channel because i just want to bring community together and want to highlight the people that don't particularly get the spotlight like the creators do of course i'm interview some creators and share who they are to people because we always have new members and everything and they I'm trying to help them figure out like which content creator they kind of jive with you know but also yeah. I wanna, I people that are like you that such that support you say that they're the superstars well just like a singer or a, an artist if i don't have fans i don't make money and it doesn't matter no without you and your support love for no more don't be willing to pay so oh, appreciate it really. oh, thank you thank you no but uh that, 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 that means a lot thank you it really does because you know you guys like i said you guys are the creators and then like people in the chat like i would literally follow like That's like a lot of people but, but without you guys literally i should, i don't know you know where, where my journey would be to be to say the least you know it's i agree with you without the content creators that i follow and have like uh, become friends with like i would be lost in this as well so just because i create content does not mean i'm any more about you or any more smart i feel like you really know way more about the market like that especially because you dabbled into crypto i never cared about crypto i hopped right into nfts because vivi made it easy because i can pay with cash and i don't have to worry about crypto or um like doing any of that so yeah yeah thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. I, i'm like i'm like super embarrassed i'm like oh my gosh like what do i say thank you like so, so those are the like nicest words ever but no no thank you. you you are too kind no but but you guys are 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 the goats not me it's literally like like I, I don't think i'll ever be able to to get into that mindset where i'm like oh my gosh I'm, I'm important no not at all not at all if it wasn't for you guys literally like i said my journey would be elsewhere literally it's, it's you guys how, how, how i learn and yeah yeah thankfully i i was able to dabble with crypto and stocks and that actually did help me with, with with NFTs a lot. I'm not gonna lie, it helped me so much. And you know, when I first started with crypto and stocks, you know, I would look at the charts and I would think like, oh yeah, just by looking at the charts, you could kind of predict. And I got lucky. I actually made somewhat predictions, but it was just pure luck. It had nothing to do with with the charts, you know. But yeah. with with time, I actually learned that I'm like, oh, you just have 
to get lucky. You thought you were, you know, analyzing the charts and just because that chart a year ago or two years ago and blah, 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 said that doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen. You need to like also follow the news. Also make sure that the stock you're into, like it's not underwater, like they haven't gotten in trouble. Like if you're into like some type of food stock that the FDA hasn't shut them down, you know, and, and then it, it also a lot of like I started playing with like options and puts and I did really well. But because of the pre-market, like the last day, that was like my last or the last day I quit the stocks is when, when I was doing so well. I, I had bought some options and the whole time I was on the green, my that very day, day was going to expire. I was going to be in the green and then pre-market happened. It was almost like somebody, I swear, I thought somebody was messing with me. It, it, it literally tanked, literally like like an impossible tank. And I and I was out of the green, and I was like, "Oh, I'm out of the green. I'm out of this platform. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna concentrate on NFTs and crypto, and that's it." But I did very, very well for a while with stocks. Yeah. Glad that you stuck around here. I love to see your rockets and my comments. And as soon as I join someone else's chat, it's super easy to spot if you're in there because of your rockets. So. Oh, just as important as these people that feed us the data that we need as well is good, genuine people in the community. Because when you're going through the hard parts of um, being hey, hey. with it, at least, you know, you have a good community that's like going to, you know, oh. that and and out of like giving up if you ever felt that way and yeah we're all here to support each other and that's the important <laughs> no for sure and, and 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 you hit it right in the nail like without the support of each other like when we're going through these hard times like literally like, like it, it's that much harder and it's that less enjoyable literally if it was like uh, to be honest like a lot of the times if it wasn't for the community i wouldn't be in those projects if it wasn't for the community i probably would have left probably this one Exactly. So, yeah, I would have left a long time ago. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's fam. Hashtag BB fam. Awesome. Exactly. Fast, it, literally. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the prodigal son. I left for a little bit. You know, I, I, I'm still in those projects. So I'm not going to concentrate as much. You know, I'm not going to forget about them completely, but I'm going to focus more not on bad to have eggs in other baskets. I'm not going to sit here and be like, all oh, BB. It's either all in or nothing. You know, yeah. I, that's just limiting yourself. Yeah. But. I'm glad that you do find BB uh, a lot, even though you're in because I'm just as bullish as you are, and I believe that BB will definitely uh, over all these other NFT projects, especially when NFTs become a old name and everybody talking to it like the internet kind of thing, you know? So. For sure, no, for sure, yeah. And imagine if we are that lucky. You yeah. know, and it helps me dream, you know, just like I buy those lottery tickets and, you know, I hope that, you know, one day I could share it with everybody. Yeah. Like, like, hold on, baby. I hope you're burning out. Okay, hold on. With those tickets, like, like, I, I don't check them on purpose sometimes for a couple of days after. Oh, you know, baby, I'll help you. Ariel. It, it helps me dream. Hey, Ariel. Ariel. Guess what? I'm going gonna, said- gonna to get off the phone with your daddy soon. So if you just give us two minutes, then he can hang out with you and make you food and make you laugh, okay? Just two minutes, okay? Just two. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. Pinky promise. Okay, okay. Pinky promise. (laughs) Okay. Here, let me put her over here for for real quick, just so that... Good thing. Hold on. You're good. Come on, baby. Come here. Come this way. Loki, stop. I'll, I'll be back in one minute, okay? You want some candy? Yeah. Okay. I'm so hungry. You're so hungry? Okay. I want a bottle. You want so a bottle? You want a bottle? Okay, I'll make you a bottle right now, okay? Okay. Sure. I'll be right back. I'll make you a bottle right now. Okay. Okay, baby. Thank you. What a good girl. All right. You, know, you obviously have your hands full, but I'm very happy to get this two hours of your life. I hope that you Uh-oh. can call my channel some other time. We could do another recap or something. Maybe sure. like during the next bull run or something big happens, like we get um, the MCP program or something, and mm-hmm. we could discuss how we feel about that or something. Um, this was a great chat, and thank you yeah. again for um, you know coming out of your nerves and just coming. <laughs>
out and like being able to be open with us because that's what I love is just being able to get to know people for who they are and put a face behind those um pictures that we have as our profile pictures yeah peeps so. yeah I know right <laughs> no well thank you for having me you know it, the honor is mine like like I said I really did I was like oh my gosh I'm so embarrassed <laughs> like I, I like I, I told my wife, look at I told her I told her I don't even know what I'm gonna say because there's nothing special about me. Well, like yeah, like sometimes I got, to say. You but like sometimes I got lucky and did some like moves here and there. But <laughs> other than that, it's like like I really don't know what to say. Like like there's nothing special about me because the creators like and and some of the OGs are the ones that I follow. Like those are the ones that I look up to. So it's like it was hard for me to 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 imagine somebody wanting to to ask me questions. Well, you're leaving this interview realizing that you mean more than you thought oh thank you appreciate it thank you so much no no you're 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 you're, you're way too kind Kayla thank you thank no. you no thank you and, and yeah yeah I speak facts ask everybody facts all day yeah no and now I feel bad that I, I killed your boyfriend's phone I not only did I like I feel like I wasted your two hours but I killed his phone too no you I'm sorry all right okay. now but see, you really are awesome you, you you really are awesome and see and and again this is another example of why this community is so freaking awesome it's it's unrivaled people like you yeah, uh, people like you guys like in the chat literally the chat <laughs> the chat is it, it literally is the community you guys are the community you know like i said i i look up to david i respect david you and, and all of them you know dan you know reese yeah. Alex, but it's not them that I'm, I'm like following, you know, it's, you know, like, you know, we're, I'm still following them, but yeah. I, I'm following, I'm, I'm following the community. I'm with the community. If, if, if it were life and death and I had to switch, you know, choose between the both, I'm going to choose to be them yeah. versus, versus them, you know, they'll probably like ban me for saying this <laughs> and oh. dislike me even more. They're like, who's this guy always trolling with the stupid David rocket? David's all about David's all about the community too. He's always saying that the community is the core. As long as like the community is like united and like everybody's having a good time together, that's what's gonna really make VV the um, NFT project that I want it to be. So that's like his main goal, and I think that he's um, done a good job so far. As far as like. I mean, it's not really like he has to try. I mean, we all are here because we're into the same IPs and like characters. And then, so that's always the yeah, easy icebreaker for us. And then we mm -hmm. just get to like build on that. And we find genuine people like you that are always just supportive and nice. And it's just easy to become friends at that point. So. Yeah, thank you. No, well, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I know that there's like so, so many awesome people, you know, but like I said, Sometimes I, I like I'm human too. So instead of being negative and lashing out and saying because of you or because of this, and then somebody's having a bad day and then they read my negativity, I'm just gonna bring them down. So instead of doing that, like I kind of like you know just like go into my show a little bit. You know, e even Twitter, like I slow down because I used to be really active on the Twitter spaces. Like yeah. I, I met a lot of new people through Twi like the the Twitter spaces. Like a lot of people, like very respectable people that I got the honor like i'm just getting the honor to, to talk to you i got to talk to them like i would have never spoken to them if it hadn't been for twitter like people that are it's like who, who is this guy like you know in my mind like like looking at me because they're so knowledgeable they're so accomplished and, and you know it's like why you know why would they give me advice when you know you know I, I'm, I'm literally a nobody i'm, I'm a small small, small, small fish or small guy that daniel but but three times during this stream all right i'll stop Sorry, your daddy <laughs> hey, I'll stop. All right, I'll stop. For sure, for sure, but yeah. for sure. Uh, no, it, yeah, it's it's like yeah. So so I've gotten to meet a lot of awesome people too through through Twitter that are from this community yeah. that I that are are not necessarily like open up in this like on this side because every platform has people like like not everybody that's on Twitter is on like goes on on YouTube or you know or they're on different platforms or vice versa. So so now that that I used to be super heavy on like YouTube mostly, like now I'm also like a little bit on Twitter. And but you know, it, it, like YouTube was what opened up my my uh my doors, I guess the pandemic the button. when I went and grabbed my mask, is were you shouting out your Twitter and stuff, right? Or no? No, I, I think I was just talking to the to them. Oh, okay. I thought you no. were saying like you could follow me on Twitter. Oh yeah. No, 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 not at all. No, no, I didn't say no, my no, 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 no. 
No, not at all. No, I'm not like that. No, I said, I said, I said, if you put, uh, like, if you're a creator and you're going to create, like, put it out there, like, I'll follow you, you know, like, you know, type of thing. Like, I'll make sure to follow you. Like, it, like, yeah, yeah. Like, if you're going to be a creator. If gonna... doesn't have at least, at least 10 more followers on Twitter after this, you guys failed me. And most of all, you failed Daniel. So No, not at all. No, she's <laughs> kidding. Twitter, be, be, it's be, down be... in the description. <laughs> Thank you. But I think that the people that are here follow us already, though, so it, they didn't fail. It, it's okay, okay. guys. Good. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> they did not fail. You guys did not fail. You did not fail. You did not fail. Wow. And nobody failed. It's okay. But but no, no, I was saying that if they're going to create, like, Tombo, I was saying, yeah, make sure to, to, uh, to look, like, at least, or follow me, and I'll make sure to follow you back. So that, that way I could make sure to, to support the, the channel or whatever you're, you're creating. Because, like I said, there was a time where, where every single creator, it didn't matter. You know, if it was for VV, I was there. Sometimes if they were talking about Recur or anything else, I would, like, literally, like, shut it down. Not, not shut it down, but, like, jump out of that channel and just, like, like focus on anybody else that was just talking about VV. But, yeah, I'm going to try to, like, like eventually I'm going to try to figure out how to juggle, like, with the baby, like, everything. Because it's it's hard sometimes, you know, like. So, so, so I'm gonna try to figure out how do I to come, you know, back a little bit more, be more active, make sure that I support the creators, like at least with the likes and stuff, with the comments, so that I can help their algorithm, because it's it's crazy, unfollow to refollow <laughs> to. Thanks, Chumbo. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> awesome. Do it three times. Hit the button three times. <laughs> Wait, that would be unfollowing you. No, because one to follow, one to unfollow, and then one to follow again. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no, but yeah. Well, was there anything else you wanted to add before um, I let you go? No, no, not at all. I, I can't think of, of, of nothing, you know, too crazy. And then I don't want to, you know, like get too deep either. Because there's life. Everybody has those experiences where if, if, you know, if I were to tell you, we could sit here for hours. Or, you know, those are incredible stories. Or stories that are, are going to bring people down. You know, like I have a little bit of everything. But it's too much. It's too short, and I've already taken too much of your time, you know. And and these people, uh, these awesome legends right here. We still have six. See, oh, we still got a. Yeah. We got Chombo. Yeah, we, we still have some some legends here. Ronnie yeah, Ronnie's still here. Ronnie's still here, active. I don't know. Zachary's still here, but yeah, we have some legends. Yeah, and Ronnie says he wants to follow Instagram if you have one, but you don't, huh? No, 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 no. YouTube was my main source, and then after YouTube, I, I opened up a Discord, which is not really, uh, 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 but it is, but it's not, and then Twitter. But uh, uh, before then, it was strictly underground. I, I wouldn't show my face. I, like, everything was aliases. Like, I wouldn't use my real, like, even my first name. Like, everything was, like, I was trying to be incognito, yeah. like, super, you know, behind well, the shot. Out. I'm so happy to see your face and that you're the Mario of Vivi and <laughs> thank you <laughs> the plumber of you seriously I, I le legit I used to be a plumber and I look like Mario I have the mustache yeah it's perfect <laughs> like I said I, that, that's why jokingly I almost came up with the with the mask I almost like joking I was gonna stay hidden no but for real all right but thank you for having me. Yeah, and any time, you know, you know, but there are times that I could get serious, and then we could analyze, and we could talk about the market if you really want to, you know. Definitely. But you know, but you know, we have so many well, legends. To know you like personally, you know. Yeah, thank you. We don't have like a lot of time to like do this, you know. So appreciate you like making this time for the channel and letting the community get to know you better. Um, it's awesome. It's great to see the other side. <laughs> Thank you. No, I appreciate it. Well, I was going to say, you know, if, 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 for, if it were to be analysis, we have so many awesome legends that I think <laughs> we would let them analyze, an, analyze, you know, versus me. But yeah, I wouldn't mind talking market and telling, you know, you know what I think, my thoughts and stuff. But I'm so happy that it was more of a, you know, like a chill, you know, more, more lax, more, uh, you know, it was more casual, I guess. I guess more, more versus a more formal, you know, streaky, yeah. like, you know. I love that they were like, I was expecting like questions, like, and then points. And I'm like, now yeah. it's more like a free flowing conversation with me. I don't have any, like, yeah. you know, like script over here. Like, okay, you're spending too much time on that question. Next question. Like, <laughs> yeah. Fun, so. No, I loved it. Yeah. It, it was a fun stream. Super awesome. Yeah. Good. No, yeah. It, it, it's awesome. I, I'm going to make sure to, to keep my, my notifications on. So whenever you're on, I'll make sure to follow and then. 
I put throw my rockets. But like I said b- before in the past, like don't don't get upset if sometimes I just put rockets coming and then my emojis, you know that I'm still supporting. I'm still support supporting. Support. Just being here. You don't even have to comment. Just watching is just yeah. enough. You know? nah. I'm gonna I'm I'm make sure that I leave my comments each time, though, for sure. At the yeah, very, thank you, you know, and you know, tell your boyfriend sorry about it about, about the phone. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're <laughs> fine. It's charging. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, but all, all right, okay. Da- oh, dang! Kobe just went live too. Let's go bomb his chat with something. Let's go bomb him with rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that's watching now, uh, thank you for joining us and getting to know Daniel and supporting him because. He's all he's our support and we need to share it. So thank you all for tuning in. Go, uh, let's go raid Kobe's chat with Rockets. You have a great day, Daniel. Let's bye, go. Daniel. You too. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Ariel, say bye. 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 <laughs> all right, bye later, guys. All right. See you guys later. All right. Bye. Peace, everybody. Bye. <laughs>